down a drain. Oh, he might just force a draw here. I think he's gonna he's gonna force a draw. I think he's just gonna, or no, he's gonna play. Okay. He's he's just gonna force a draw. I think. Yeah, I, I think he just wants a draw. Okay. Yeah, he just wants a draw. I mean, he would just wants a draw. No, I mean, he just wants a draw. He just wants a draw. I mean, he just wants a draw. I can show you the next five moves. The way the game goes is I'll tell you how the game goes. The game goes C3, Bishop D6, or not C3, sorry. The game goes Bishop F4, Bishop D6. We trade the Knights. He goes Bishop D3, Bishop F5. We trade the Bishops. He goes Queen D3. I go Knight D6. He goes C3. We go Queen D2, Knight D7, Rookie 8. Trade, whoops, not Rookie 7. Trade, trade, Rookie 1. And we reach a very symmetrical position. Same Queen, same Knights, and blah, 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 and whatever. Um... I mean, that's literally what would have happened. It would have been just same material, same pawn structure, absolute nonsense, waste, waste of time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's whatever. <music> Amazing. Obviously, that that really makes me smile, as you can tell. When you, when you see X, you see when you see something that just clicks there in that game, um, that's like the, that's that's really one of the best feelings you can have in, in, in the world. So, um, so, uh, so, so, yeah, it's just, I mean... Just a great feeling, and it's great to see him having fun, just enjoying the game. I mean, that's the reason that's the reason um, that we're here, obviously, because it's, it's not about the series competition. If you want series competition, yes, the tournament I just played, for example, is extremely serious. Um, but of course, a lot of you guys are here for the fun, so I, I really am very happy to see all these guys who are who are playing um, who are playing chess. So it it really it's just it, it really made me smile when I saw that clip last night um, because it's just just fantastic. Really fantastic to see XT doing well. And secondly, or okay, well, we got to start the game. So, so round one, let me turn on some music. Um, just keep going. Okay, so this is round one. I'm playing an IM2460. I need to do something a little bit, a little bit more random to try and win the game. Um, uh, thank you to, uh, I'll, I'll get to all the, uh, all the subs. Um, I'll get to all the subs after, uh, after the game. Sorry, let me push here. Go here. Okay, I'm gonna play something dubious here because I need to win this game. He's 2440, so I need to win the game. So I'm gonna play something very dubious. This is not what I normally would play. Let's bring the knight into the game, bring the knight over. Now Lyric is playing chess. Yeah, chat. I saw Lyric is playing chess. I totally will drop him a DM on. Oh, this is a bad move. I just captured the pawn. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna win. We're gonna win, boys. We're gonna win this game. We're up a pawn. Um, anyway, uh, okay, I will take with this pawn now, and I think I will move the knight out, or maybe push this pawn. I'm up one pawn, so I really should win this game. Let, let me not choke this game. That'd be very bad. Okay, so I'm going to develop my bishop here. Um... Okay, so I'm going to take the pawn here and bring the bishop out. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, there's a WGM leading the tournament so far. That's that's all, That's all. great to see, actually. I'm going to move the bishop, move the knight, capture with the rook. Um, okay, I'm going to move the... I can trade the queens. I can move my queen back. I'm not quite sure what I'll do. Um, I think I'm going to just drop my queen... No, maybe I'll just trade the queens. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up a juicer. I've got one extra juicer on the board here, so I can actually just slow play this. So, um, uh, so, 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 yeah. Anyway, chat. Um, where was I? I forget where I was. Uh, I'm just losing my mind. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm up a juicer in an end game, so I've got one extra pawn, so I'm doing pretty well. Not clear. Not clear. Clearly winning yet, but I should be better in the long run. Um, I can move the knight. I can capture. I think I'll move the knight here. But yeah, honestly though, you guys, it's it's really amazing to see all these people. Even seeing Lyric, like Lyric, obviously I, I've I've known who he is for a while, but seeing seeing him take up chess, like for the very first time, like 
most of these guys that you see xqc or, or Reckful or, or, or nim even and they're not total beginners they clearly played the game a little bit as, as kids at least and um, to see someone who's actually never played like lyric who clearly he's just it's the very first time he's looked at chess um that's that's when you know that you're doing some amazing things because uh lyric obviously one of the biggest streamers on twitch um and just seeing him take up chess um it's just it's fantastic and who knows maybe he'll even want in on um on twitch rivals I'm gonna push the pawn capture maybe push the pawn guess I will move my bishop here attack the rook in the night uh who is lyric um it first of all it's with an I um and secondly yeah this is twitch you you should know who he is that's all I'm gonna say um I think I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put my rook uh over here to attack and then I bring this rook in and put this rook down the board um let's just move the rook up I'm gonna go rook d2 next move um actually no, I'll go here first and then I drop the rook attack like this and my pawns actually are really good here so I will go I think I go wait a second this is a little bit tricky maybe um I'll just go here guard th guard this way This isn't trivial but but we're playing three plus one so I gain one second per move so even though I'm down on the clock right now I'm down like 10 seconds I'm still in good shape I think I just go here and I should be winning what am I missing hmm this isn't trivial though whatever I'll just play h5 anyway it looks good I think I will go here to attack the pawn a capture I just capture it's, it should be winning but I've made a bit of a mess out of this game now I capture this one capture this one I've got two pawns um and this this has to be winning let's make a check bring the rook over bring the rook back um okay let's be careful maybe make a check this must be winning surely if I capture and drop the rook back okay, let's see okay I can put the rook down a little bit tricky I guess I'll move the rook back moving too slowly this game to bring the rook back oh I should have put the rook down I would have had a checkmate yikes okay now I go here and now I threaten the checkmate behind and he's just lost because of the the rooks are like the ice skaters here they just stop the checkmates let's move the king up maybe guard everything Now I go check he's got a block and then I make the check and then we gobble the rook and that's GG yo I'm not missing lethal this game chat no missing lethal he resigns when he moves the king I just gobble the rook and I have an extra rook and I've got two extra pawns so we win the first game moved to one out of one um uh thank you to um let's let's go back thank you to um thank you to PNT ruler for the prime thank you to orange system for the tier one thank you to king Wade for the prime thank you to mangoes aren't cats for the tier one thank you to kayak 33 for the prime thank you to legendary sports for the prime thank you to i'm just better for the prime thank you to xdeon 2023 for the prime thank you to andrea m112 for the 200 bits thank you to r2d2 for the prime thank you to i kill fire for the prime thank you to bad axe 99 for the 200 bits thank you to kim place for the prime thank you to fame Lee for the prime thank you to cool pill for the prime i will watch lyric thank you to zolder z for the two months thank you to grok for 74 for the prime z specter for the prime leonard black for the prime maddie writing for the tier one nickel Farron for the six months kinsuri for the prime el goblino triple seven for the prime um thank you to pav three w o w for the prime thank you to couchy reman for the prime sells interlink for the three months hog dog for the prime the best by test for the two months thank you to experts for the prime jamie speed for the prime zang 45 for the prime sickers for the prime and z for the prime barry eu for the prime psychonaut for the prime macadam for the tier one xx not a cop 69 for the tier one Nerdwolf for the prime all right there for the tier one photo chest for the 11 months okra armband for the prime sync with nail for the prime scout draco 2010 with the prime thank you to uh dd devil libeling for gifting a tier one sub thank you so much thank you to xgkd for the prime thank you to dave hole for the prime thank you so much to everybody all right let's watch lyric um i'll pull i'll pull i'll pull him up on the other other tab in a second okay let's uh let's pull him up okay let me turn off the music let's see what's going on okay let's watch lyric okay um lyric is I mean he's very new to the game so I don't and and this looks like the first game so he's playing someone who's 1200 oh that's a queen 
He's gonna win now. He's up a queen. We tune in at the right time. The legend, legend is gonna actually win, win a game of chess. Um, second game, yeah. So I saw him doing some basics for learning moves um, before, but actually, let me move my cam on this scene. Um, let me move this over here. No, the bishop can kill the knight, but the problem he's not realizing is it puts his, it, his king is in check. So this is a pin. It's a pin. The king is in check and he moves the bishop. That's the problem. Um, so that that's the that's the main thing here. That's that's why it doesn't work. Well, um, thank you to DHB88 for the one ten thousand bits. Thank you so much to DHB88. Thank you, thank you to MGZK06 for the prime. Thank you, to, thank you to Souk for the three dollars. Adopt lyric into the family. Thank you to Souk. Appreciate it. Um, all right. So the king is pinned, so he can't he can't do anything. Here, so he's got to move. Um, he's got to move the king up. What when 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 the game starts? Chat, I'll have to go back to my. I'll have to go back to my chat. But but for now, I'll, in between the games, we'll watch this. Um, okay, he, he lost the bishop. Oh, but he can take. Okay, he should be. He did say he should see because these are very basic moves. So even if he's just starting, he should see the basic spots where you can move. Um, so this is good. This is a good start. He'll probably lose the game, I assume, since it's only his second game. But. He, but I think the fact that he seems to understand the peace movement at least is, is pretty good. So he's got to move his king somewhere. He could block with the bishop, but I think that's a little bit advanced for him um, if it's only a second game, but, but we'll see. Oh, did, oh, chat. He probably doesn't. He probably doesn't even know um, the piece values, even right? Because he, he he just said he, he just said he's he's gonna lose. He doesn't real actually. He probably doesn't realize the piece values, does he? Oh, I'm yeah. I totally I totally want to I totally want to uh, uh, do something something with him because he's got to move the king somewhere. So he, okay, so okay, still he seems to understand. Now he should obviously move the bishop. Uh, okay, he found the check, which is very good. That's very good that he found the check. Now he should move the rook because the knight is threatening to take the rook. This is not chat. Come on, this is not too hard to watch. Come on, come on. I mean, it's it's very it's it. it it's very interesting to watch this. It's like the first games he's playing. Like seriously, chat. Like we're 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 here to be inclusive. Like when you were playing your second game, somebody could have could have come up and, and laugh 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 in your face. But I mean, people don't do that because it's it's a second game. So let's chill out, everybody. I I can't I I can't help him right now, chat. Because I'm playing in an actual tournament. Um, but I will uh, I will try to I will try to set something up with him for sure. Need a jam packs for the prime as well. Okay, so he's got to remember he still is a rook. Oh, my game started. Oh, my game started. Sorry, chat. I, I'm sorry. I, I got. I got to uh, play my game. One second. Um, let, let me. Let me go back to my game. Okay. Let's keep going. Um. Okay. Let's move the knight. Sorry, chat. I got. I got to play the second game. One second. Okay. We're playing 2579. Sorry. Sorry about that, chat. Okay. Let's play d4. Bishop e2 and castle here. Okay, he plays this now. I'm gonna play. Um, I don't know which line. I'm gonna play a weird line here that I that I looked at many many years ago when I was playing a tournament in China. Uh, I think it was 2014 maybe, and I was looking at this weird line. So I'm gonna play this game. Okay, I think f4 is a move here. I'm gonna do this and then f4. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> a movie on me? I don't know. I don't know, chat. Who knows? Maybe there will be a movie, but um, yeah. Anyway, okay, so I play F4. I capture with the knight, I think. How did I do today? I scored three points out of four, chat. So I'm 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 cooking in the in the in the Lindor's Abbey tournament. Three points out of four. I probably will qualify 
um for the for the final eight and then then it's a knockout event starting i think in like four or five days from now so 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 we'll see um but yeah xuc playing me in a movie that would be hilarious chat no i mean i think if there ever was a movie on me i mean it would have to be um what's his name is it james park uh, what, what's his name or the guy from uh the you know asian gym i think it would have to be him who plays me in a movie uh thank you to mad axe 85 for the four months thank you so much appreciate it um okay let's see i think i'm gonna put hmm i can capture and capture i don't really i can capture here too i think i'm just gonna hmm i don't actually know what to do I think i'm just gonna capture here play myself like a uh, howard stern did Oh, what Howard Stern movie? I, I, there's a Howard Stern movie. I think you yourself is a decent opinion. Yeah, I mean it's not like that big of a deal. But if there's a movie, I mean it has to be someone playing me. I pro it would probably have to be Asian Jim because he's the guy who looks the closest to me. Okay, now I can capture. I can also move the bishop here. I can also take. I can also. Hmm. Let's let's think for one second. Okay, I've got what two minutes? I'm up. I'm up. 20 seconds on the clock so it's it's all pretty good right now um oh, let's think though hmm I can also take no that's no good um I think I'm just gonna go here put pressure on this diagonal at some point is my bishop thank you Jade is good for the two months how do you like your daily dose of Jim Hikaru thank you um thank you to XX not a cop for the five dollar tip thank you so much thank you to R far 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 one for the four months But yeah, anyway, chat, I mean, e even if even if I don't have a great tournament here, I mean, the performance I put on in the other events more than makes up for it. So that's why also in between the games, if Lyric is, is playing chess, I totally will flip over there because I am serious. I do want to win the 500 sandals. But even if I don't win the 500 sandals, it's still been a very successful day. So I'm going to capture with the bishop, not the knight, because I don't want him jamming this knight in the center here and then getting a bishop and like killing my king eventually with the queen and the bishop. Um, okay, so now I should take and drop the queen up attack I also keep an eye on this pawn it's a very ugly pawn oh awesome it's great oh no I made a mess out of this actually yeah this is a little bit ugly um hmm let me think for a second I guess I go h3 maybe h3 h5 should be okay He okay, goes knight d4. I thought I should have some trick here. Like, I can remove the queen, maybe? I think I should remove the queen first and capture the bishop and then take this pawn over on the edge, maybe, if I can get it. Okay, so I will obviously uh, take. And then I probably drop my rook over to attack the queen. Okay, it's very slow. Okay, so I capture, so I capture. I think I just bring the rook guard the knight, threaten to capture with the discovery on his queen. Everything is guarded here. Can I play the El No Sabe song? Maybe in between the games. Not right now, but maybe in between. Can I drop the bishop back, attack this one, attack this one, I go here, remove the knight at some point. He's very slow, though, so I'm in very good shape in this game. I think I just take the pawn. He can capture this one, I come back, and then I assume I'm going to run this one up the board at some point. Let's just go back, attack, guard, attack this, push the pawn up the board. I'm going to go here, 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 and just try to win the game. Let's go here. Okay, so let's think here. So I've got to do something. He's trying to put the knight in the center of the board. I think I'm actually going to bring my king closer again so I can play my rook over and attack the queen. I can capture, I can move the rook. I can also move my bishop, maybe. Actually, I'm going to do this. It's a very weird move because he pushes, I just capture. And if he goes here, I come up. Um, this doesn't look right. Um, maybe I just go here. No, no, that hangs this. Whoops, that would be really bad. Um, I just go here and then rook here next move. Here, attack the queen, and now bishop comes in. And it feels like his king is a little bit too open, but I could be wrong. Goes there. 
guess I go here. If he captures, he gets forked. Okay. All right, child, let's go back to Lyric. Oh, wait, wrong scene, sorry. Um, there we go. Unfortunately, that's a bad move because it hangs the knight. So actually, you know what you know what's wrong is that since he just started, no one's told him the, the, no one has told him what the piece values are. I don't think so. He, do, he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't realize um, he doesn't realize the values of the pieces. Uh, I think that's a big part of the uh, part of part of the part of the thing is he he needs to understand the basic uh, um, uh, the the basic. Uh, Sorry, let me put that up there. He needs to understand the basics, uh, the basic values of the pieces. Why don't I help him out? Well, I mean, I'm playing a tournament right now, so I can't help him out. Um, so, I mean, I, 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 uh, I did follow him on Twitter, so he can, he can reach me on Twitter, or I'm sure, I mean, he, uh, or on Discord. Um, but yeah, I totally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing something with him. It's a good move. Uh, who is this guy, chat? We are watching Lyric. He is um, he is one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. I think actually on average, in terms of in terms of concurrent viewers, I think he actually gets a higher viewership than even XQC. Um, so 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 yeah, he's a he's a he's he's um he's he's one of the absolute top streamers on um on Twitch. He's doing well, though, because now he can take the pawn, or he can make a check with the queen. Now, he should see the pawn. Since he just started, I would expect him to see this pawn here. He should, he should, as a beginner, he should be looking at what can you take for free? What sort of things are free? It's a free, that's a free juicer. It's a free juicer. Very good. Not the best move, but considering he just started, it's, it's very good, because it's more important that he just sees the basic things that are, that, that are free. This is good. Thank you to Killy for the prime. Okay, now it's guarded though. It's protected. It's protected. Yes, but the queen guard. Oh, he didn't see it. Yeah, he didn't see that the queen was guarding it. Uh, he he um no no he's a very serious streamer. He streams I think does he what does he stream normally? Is he is he is he COD? He's a, he's a bit of everything I think. Um, but he was streaming. What was the game he streamed the other day? What was he streaming the other day? Yeah, variety, right? But he was—he was streaming. What was the game? He, two days ago, when I saw him at the top, he was streaming something. Anyway, yeah, streams everything though. Okay, so um, ah, God of War. Okay, God of War. Okay, yeah. Okay, see, no, see, the problem is what he's not not understanding since he just started is he's not understanding the piece values. That's that's the thing he's not realizing. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. If, if this really is his third game, and he's literally never looked at any chess before. It's not bad. So he should bring his rooks into the game, but again, very, very, he's just starting right now. What, my game started? No, I don't, I don't have a game chat. Thanks. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you, Kaboom, for the prime as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's a good one, actually. That, that's a good one. But he can't because the king is pinned. This is... King is in check. He doesn't... Okay, so he doesn't understand pins. Okay, okay. Because his king is in check. Okay. Oh, my game started. Sorry, sorry. My game started. Sorry, chat. I got to get back to my game. Okay, let's um, let's play a French. Uh, I, I just... I mean, I have to play my games. Well, in, in between, we'll just watch Lyric, though. We totally will. Okay, let's go here. Drop the knight back. Push the pawn. Yeah, Cavallo, he's he's so bad. I mean, he's completely new to the game. He's never even he's never even played chess. It's his third game. So um I, I think there are many words you could use to describe lyric. Bad is not one of them. Um Okay, it's oh sorry, it's my move. Wait, let's go here and go Queen B6. Playing the French, it's a good opening chat. Stop hating on the French. So okay, I'm on two out of two so far. Um this is the third third game out of ten. So far, so good. And yeah, again, you can't really judge if they're completely new. I mean, actually, it's kind of interesting because 
I, I feel like I've almost never seen someone who's who's never played chess at all before. Um, so so it's quite interesting to see to see the way that he's learning without any like set sort of um, coaching. Didn't computers conclude the French is close to surrendering? The French is not a top tier opening, but at the moment, uh, my opponent is not familiar with the opening meta and he blunders a pawn. And now he, sh he is actually losing if I play this correctly. Whether I play this correctly, we'll see. So I capture, drop the bishop out. I move the bishop out. I can also just capture. Um, just capture. I have, I have an extra juicer again. I won this, this free pawn on down here. So it's all good. What are top tier openings? So like pushing the pawn two squares instead of one pawn is one of them. Thank you to Juan before for the prime. Thank you to Ho Ha He Ha 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 for the uh, for the tier one. Thank you to Bruzman for the prime as well. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm up one pawn, doing very well. Um, I should be much better here. I think just castles are yeah maybe just castles. Because if he pushes, I just gobble and then push my pawn to support the knight, um, and I'm I'm just winning. Goes queen h3. Okay, that's a strange move. I think I just I mean I can push this one. I think I just push this one forward. If he tries this, I assume I just go here and here. Whoa! Thank you to Scott HY for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Scott HY. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the show. Do you think in terms of extra juicer while playing serious games like today? No, but today was very smooth for me. I got, you know, I will talk about it a little bit. The game positions I got in the other other event that I played in earlier, I just got some really nice smooth positions. Um, the first game was very clean against Sergei Karyakin. The second game against uh, Dan Daniel Dubov was pretty smooth. Third game against uh, against um, Ali Reza was just uh, was just a uh, you know just a supreme. I, I have no other words to describe it. So it was just a very, 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 very smooth game. And the last game against Magnus, make no mistake, was very tense. But I felt that I defended very well. Thank you to um, 8869 136.595 for the prime. I missed, um, I missed, a, I missed um, something. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm gonna capture and go here. I think if he goes here, I just ah, but he wants this. Okay, I gotta be a little bit careful here. I think I just put the bishop here, maybe, or I put the rook up. I think I'll put the bishop here. Yeah, and he moves the queen up. I just go back. I guard everything, even though there's the pin. Um, thank you to Sparkling Turner for the prime. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the five dollars, uh, Alpha Ken, Alpha Ken Kenna buddy. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, okay, I'm gonna drop the knight in here. Attack the rook. Bring the bishop in. Thank you to Keglar for the prime. Thank you to Quiz Garrett for the prime. Thank you XJ Solar for the prime as well. Um, thank you so much. Who won Magnus or Ikar? We drew our game. I think we're both tied for the lead with three points out of four. So very good start. I'm very, very happy with the way I've started out so far. Um, but of course, many more rounds to go. Okay, now I'm going to put this here maybe? Or do I just, do I get greedy? I think I get greedy. And I'm just going to run this pawn up the board and, and win the game, I think. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I was in bad shape. But again, chat, I think the main thing is is really in terms of really good chess players one of the most important things is not necessarily well i mean closing out games is important but the defense you put up is, is a very critical part of the game because um because that's the thing is even if you're losing the game you have to put up the best defense and i was very happy that i that i put up very good very good defense against magnus um i mean it's a shame that it was today and it couldn't have been you know like two weeks ago unfortunately but hey it's all good um but yeah thank luat um best recommendation puzzles 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 and more puzzles um, I will just move my, no, I will just move my rook. I think it just gobble like this. Thank you to Bubzilla seven for the 13 months. Thank you so much to Bubzilla. Thank you. Um, I will move my king here, attack the queen now because the king is no longer in the line of fire. I think I will capture and go 94, attack the rook, push the pawn. He goes here. I get the fork. Um, I get the other fork this way. And I think this is GG's. Yeah, this is the other fork. And he goes here to checkmate me. I push the pawn. Queen guards. He can still take, but then I just take the take the bishop on c4. Oh, he finds a move that doesn't actually. He doesn't lose right on the spot. Although I can back rank him. Yeah, I can back rank him because he has no 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 space for his king here. Thank you to AP MRD money for the tier one. Thank you so much. Okay, he's just he's he's lost. Okay, so we're gonna move to three out of three, I think, in a second. Oh, he finds a move to hang on. Okay. 
That's actually a good move. I go here, attack the bishop, attack the rook. And, okay, he resigns. Okay, so we moved to three out of three. Let's go back. Let's watch more Lyric. Okay. Now, one important thing is he will actually understand what checkmate is. Can I please please teach Lyric after? I mean, I'm pretty tired, honestly. That, that event was very tough. I mean, when you're playing top players in a serious competition, it takes a lot out of me. So I probably won't do anything today with him, but certainly uh, like in the next couple of days, I'm, I'm very open open to it. Now the question is here if hopefully his opponent sh hopefully his opponent shows the correct checkmate. Mhm. Mm hopefully the guy moves the rook over and then pushes it down so that he sees he sees a very fundamental checkmate in this position. Hopefully his opponent plays the correct checkmate so that he learns something about checkmates in this position. Result today, I scored three points out of four in the uh, Lindoris Abbey tournament um, earlier today. So, okay, it's king. Unfortunately, it's a pawn or it might be a stalemate, yeah. And now the rook comes down for checkmate. Oh, four, four, 1,400 is quite good, though. That's quite good. That, that's not bad. That's not bad. That, that's not bad, actually. Anyway, let's see. Okay, let's let's see. Me playing... Me watching Lyric is wholesome. Okay. So, see... W see, and this is another basic that he... Okay. Is that he... What, what's wrong with this lyric guy chat this is his fourth game of chess so don't expect don't expect um don't expect something out of this world thank you to g sconner for the tier one no shaming especially no shaming okay not a bad move he can develop the knight and push the pawn up next move thank you ditchburn uh, and t t piv for the primes thank you so much thank you left for dead for the threes three months take the pawn good but he's up one pawn he's up he he's got an extra pawn here Does Lyric play strategy games? I don't know if he does. I'm not sure. I actually don't know. I am following Lyric. I, I am, but I, I, I can't I can't type because I uh let me see if I can type something in his chat. Let, let me uh, just pull this up. I don't think I can I don't think I can write in his chat, but maybe I'm wrong. Let, let me see. Let me pull this up just a little bit. Let's see. Let, let's see. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't write. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, there we go, chat. Oh, very sad, very sad. But it's all good. It's all good. No worries. Um, okay, so he's got to move the knight out here, I guess. Oh, you have to sub? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll sub. Oh, whoops. Wait. L l let, me, let me change screens. L l let me uh, change screens while I do that so I don't leak it. Okay. Okay. Uh, that should be good. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, purchase not complete? What? One second, chat. Trying to do it in the other window. Rest in peace, bank account. Exactly, chat. Totally. Oh, did I? Oh, did I get gifted? Oh, I got gifted? Oh, I got gifted? That's why. Okay, okay. Oh, I got gifted. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I was I was gonna sub and then I guess I got gifted. Thank you to Left for Dead and Pre Conte for the primes. Um yeah, okay. So he's gotta move his king, I guess, or block with the knight. Yeah, all all the red chat, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um no, this is this is reasonable though. It's not it's not bad for his fourth game. I mean, 
he needs to learn he needs to learn the basics obviously like what pins are and like what pieces to attack with but um like here moving this knight he should he should move this knight up to attack this pawn but again if he doesn't understand what forks are he doesn't understand these basic things um like he's just started it's very hard for him to figure it out um without some some guidance so yeah I'm totally down to do something with him down the road um I was planning on doing some sort of co collaboration with with uh Nim like tomorrow I don't know if it's gonna work out but um but but yeah at some point I, I'm I'm good with trying to help him out a little bit for sure no no he's not bad at all I mean he's no he's, he's definitely not bad see like if I told him just that he needs to develop that he needs to develop um pieces um if I if, if he understands that he needs to develop pieces instead of pawns that already would help him a lot here oh sorry my game started okay well whatever okay um sorry you guys I'll get back let me uh let me mute this I'll get back okay let's play um let's go here in bishop b2 thank you Todd Ray for the for the two months thank you so much okay let's go Bishop b2 I think I'll push the pawn push my pawn up next move um maybe I'll just remove this Bishop if I can here I guess I will push my pawn and put the Knight in the center of the board um no actually I want to be sort of more hyper modern is there any way to be hyper modern here not really so I guess I'll do something pretty slow and simple this is title Tuesday chat title Tuesday again big shout out to everybody who's watching um uh thank you again for all the love and support hope you guys are enjoying hope you enjoyed the stream earlier of course which uh when I was playing the event um and I hope you guys are enjoying enjoying title Tuesday um on top of that so we're just just chilling having a good time um tilted yeah I, saw, I think um who was it there was I think it was box box was watching me last week and he he said that when he saw the title he thought it was tilted Tuesday not title Tuesday um so it's it's a bit of a running joke but yeah we're, we're we're doing well so far three out of three you see people have have more there are people higher than me because we, we all the same same point score I don't know why I'm not showing actually I should be or no it's just a bunch of people okay so I'm gonna go I guess I will go here 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 put the Queen finish the development get cash from my King out of the center of the board and all should be good okay so I'm obviously gonna capture I should have captured right away but I'm still good I'm gonna move the Queen castle this way I thought it was tilted as well yeah I mean totally it, you, you could definitely read it as being tilted okay so I'm gonna move the Queen up I guess I'll capture the Bishop next move so I I'm gonna capture move the King out of the center of the board here I, I got to get my King out of the middle you always want your King off to one side or the other side where it's behind pawns and Bishops um because in the center it's much more vulnerable to being attacked so now I'll move my King over get it further away and he doesn't really have threats with the Bishop because I can always remove this piece and I think I will remove it um I'm gonna remove it next but first I'm gonna remove the Knight and capture so that he can't jump in this way because if he goes this way then I'm win the Bishop because my pawn guards the critical square and now I'm gonna capture so he no longer has the Bishop to attack on this diagonal and now I'm gonna go here push the pawn try to bring the Rook down and win the win these pawns here the, this pawn formation on the King side okay so at this point I will now um push the pawn if captures I can capture thank you to uh Dr Dr Eldomo for the uh five gifted thank you so much appreciate it um okay I can push the pawn and bring the Knight yeah I think this is how I do it so I, I make some space and now my Knight you see it doesn't really have squares so I start to push into his position and get a nice outpost here where the Knight can sort of jump and pressure every every thing that he has here so I take he takes okay so he's gambiting one bishop for a couple of pawns I don't think this really should be good for him if I play this precisely but I do have to be careful here so let me think um okay I don't really want to take this pawn I think I will this looks iffy hmm let's think for a second so I move the Knight here captures I capture okay he moves the Queen and then I move the King if I move the Knight he moves the Queen I move the King he makes a check I move the King and I think I'm very good there um let me think for one second if I block with the Queen block with the Rook put the other Rook yeah I think it works yeah I think it works okay so I'm gonna do it so he's gonna bring the Queen I can't capture because then he has a check with his Knight 
uh, because of the pin on my king, and then he would win the queen, the king, and the rook. Everything's under attack. Thank you to New Plays Games for the Prime. Thank you to Rio Zuki for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Okay, so now here I go king here. Sidestep the threat of moving the knight because now the king is no longer in the line of the queen. Uh, thank you to DE Chess for the two months. Thank you so much. DE Chess. Lol. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have I ever gone 10 out of 10 in this event, winning all 10 games? No, I think I've gotten... I, last last week when I won the event, I got nine, point, 9 wins and 1 draw out of 10, 10 games. But, yeah, okay. So the point here is that basically, if he can't attack my king long term, my bishop is going to be much better. Okay, this doesn't look right at all somehow. Okay, so I can move the rook or move the queen. Um, Wait, wait. If I move the queen and he goes here, I get to fork him. And in case you guys are wondering, when I look at the sky, I'm basically calculating a line in my head. I'm looking up, and it's like I'm moving the pieces manually in my head. Okay, so I think I go rook here. Because now when he puts the rook, I put the knight here. I'm... What? Wait, one second. Let me, let me think for one second. So I go bing, then bang, then boom. GG's. Okay, I think... What am I missing? Here, then here, then here. Here, then here. Yeah, I mean, he's just... Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, I, I don't believe him. Can't get enough chess today. Right. Well, we played the, the Lindoris Abbey tournament earlier, which was rapid chess. So it was like three and a half hours of very serious competition. Now we're playing this event, which will be another about two hours of serious competition. So, you know, some people, some people like chess. And um, uh, if you, if you, if you're insane and you like chess, you just play more of it. Um, <laughs> the bing, bang, boom. Exactly, chat. Okay, so I attack the rooks here. I am going to win stuff. Again, as I pointed out, chat, I have one extra piece here. Okay, so I can capture this. I can also move the queen. Yeah, I saw that stuff, chat, but I, I don't want to get into it right now. So if I capture... I mean, he's basically going all in to try and win the game. I can move the knight back, and I should be winning. I can also take the extra material. Oh, he's only got three seconds. What am I doing? I, I actually can just chill. He's got no time. Okay, I can just chill. So let's go here. And now I go here, remove the knight, capture with the discovery on the queen, and he just loses everything. So he resigns. Um, if he moves the knight back here, I move the bishop, attack the rook, attack the queen. And he's already got one less. He's got one less bishop. And I, I have two bishops and a knight. He's only got two knights. So he's already minus three. And here he loses the queen or the rook, and he loses the game. So we moved to four out of four. Um, and six more games to go. Let's get back to Lyric while we're at it. Um, Okay, so if the horse, but now the rook captures the horse. Okay, yeah, I, chat. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna have to ask Lyric if he wants me to uh, to help him. Cause I totally would. I totally would. Completely. Oh, he misses it. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna have to help him because, of course, the problem is since he's so new. Oh, wrong, wrong scene. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Sorry, chat. Uh, my bad. Um. So, so yeah, so as I, as I was saying, um, like, uh, I'll, I'll have to help him because the problem is he's just losing games and he doesn't understand anything. Mm -hmm. This is a good point. This is a good point. The bishops actually, a lot of players sometimes will miss that the bishops can go on the backward diagonal. They don't have to come down the board. They can also go back. Thank you to Mr. Swez for the three months. Thank you so much. Um, it's, that's actually something that good players even will sometimes miss. They'll miss the idea. Oh, take the bishop, take the bishop, take the bishop. Good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> this is good though. This is good. I mean, he's still going to lose the game, but, but it's, it's good. It's good. But the problem also is that he's playing people who are high ranked. Like even, I mean, this is like someone who like XQC would be playing around this level on this on on Lee Chess. So like if XQC is playing against this and XQC has actually played quite a bit of chess, like Lyric's just going to lose every game because his 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 rating is just a little bit too high. 
And the guy should just capture the bishop with the rook. <laughs> mm. Okay, so, um, all right, so, um, yeah, I should move the bishop back here. Thank you to M. Michael1223 for the prime. I mean, chess is a very hard game if you don't, like, if you don't have someone to basically, if you're just starting, you don't have someone to give you at least the basics, it's very hard to just learn it on the fly. So, um, so it's, it's quite hard. Thank you to Inferno Omni for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Play with him, but I'm playing a tournament right now, so I, I can't actually do it right now. Ah. Yeah, he's just down. He's down too much. The guy has an extra Rook. He's got two extra Knights. So this is going to be unfortunate. Thank you to Colty for the Prime. Oh, he just takes the Rook. Okay, yeah, I mean, I if, if he wants to, I'll totally do something with him. I, I, need, I need to help him. Yeah, I mean, if he, if he wants help, I, I will definitely help him out. Um, ditch the tournament. Ditch the tournament. Well, chat, everybody, I mean, you guys are enjoying enjoying the tournament. And it's going to get more tense towards the end as well. We're only, what, five rounds in or four rounds in? So it's going to get more intense. Yeah, I'll drop him a DM on, um, I'll drop him a DM on Twitter. For sure. Okay, so... He might get a stalemate, I guess, because his opponent might not keep checking the king. But actually, I'm going to turn this off for one, the volume off for one second. What I was going to say, though, is one thing that that um that like I need to show XUC specifically at some point is the thing is when you're up a lot of material, when you have like a bunch of extra rooks or knights or extra queens, you always should be looking to put the king in check. Like always looking to do that when your opponent does not have many pieces left on the board. And um, I saw PVC doing that a little bit last night. Um, but I think that's one thing that like is very important when you're when you're when you're near the beginning is that you always look to put the king in check. Yeah, PVC, also known as XQC. Um, so so that's a very important important concept that that you, you need to know is when is to put the king in check. It's it's very important. So okay, let me unmute this. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, see, the problem is these guys are just too good. He's playing people who are just too high. That's the problem. These guys are just too strong. Oh, almost. But see, the thing is his opponent keeps checking also. Yeah, yeah. It is, yes. Oh, okay. I don't know if Lyric knows what um knows what stalemate is, so he might not know what stalemate is if, he, if he's starting. Okay, okay, oh, it's almost stalemate. He's got to push the pawns. I hope he can get a stalemate here. No, that's off for a draw. No, no, but move the pawn. Go for stalemate. Move the pawn. Move the pawn. Move the pawn. Move the pawn. <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah this is uh <laughs> he almost has stalemate if the guy doesn't see the check here he, he'll get a stalemate but this is this is pretty funny this is this is really quite quite amusing. Um, okay, so he moves the king. Sniper, sniper Andy, yeah, sniper Andy, exactly. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, brutal, brutal pairing. Yeah, he's getting very unfortunate pairings. This is really bad. He's playing people who are too good, so he's going to keep losing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this, this is bad. Okay, so you should push the pawn ahead and attack the knight. So push the pawn and move the knight out here. Oh, my game started? No, my game didn't start, chat. You're trolling me. You're trolling me. My game didn't start. Good one. Good one, chat. Um... So he's, he's moving the knight. He's... This is good. This is very good so far. This is good. So far, this is very good from, from Lyric. This game is very good. This is a mod model start. For not for not actually knowing knowing anything, this is a very good start. Very good start. So he should, he should move the knight and move the bishop out here, and he's um oh man, I gotta help him. I I just. I, I just got to help him. Um, okay, I just got to let, let me send him. Let, let me let me send Let me send him a, a, a message on Twitter. Actually, I'm just going to send him a message on Twitter. Um, where is it? Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me see. Let, let me unmute him. Sorry. What am I doing? Oh, he's 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 losing. One second. One second. Sorry, Chad. I got I got to go back to my my event. Okay, I'm black in this game. Let's keep going. This is what round five or something. Sorry. Yeah, I have to, I have to go back to my game. One second. Um. Okay, let's play this and this. I'll take with a pawn. What is my score right now? I'm on four points out of four points. Oh, look at Mr. Robert Hess. He's up here too. I'm on four points, but I have bad tie breaks, so I'm all the way down in 12th place technically. That's the reason. Um, I'm just going to move my queen maybe. I guess I'll move the knight and move the bishop and then move the pawn. Okay, he plays h3, so there are a couple of moves I can play here. I can push the pawn. I can I move the queen. Um, let me just think for a second. I can push the pawn here. Yeah, let's just do this and capture. Let's do this. I don't know. I'm going to do this. It might not be best, but I'm going to try. Think visually for the prime. Okay, place knight f3. I will capture. Just go h6. Cut the bishop and then develop. I will have two bishops, so I have more diagonals. The bishops are, are good here. Thank you to Majestic Q for the, uh, for the prime. Thank you so much, Majestic Q. Okay, so now I bring the bishop. I have a bad pawn, but I have two bishops, which long-term should be quite good here. Um, can move the queen, maybe. I don't think that's good. I want to move the rook. How do I do this? Okay. I think the way I do this is... Um, I move the queen to get it out of the center, and then I try to put my rooks in the center to control everything. Um, yeah, let's just go here, drop the bishop back. I'm down 30 seconds. Yeah, but this game has increment chat, so it's not it's not that big of a deal. Let's go here. Uh, what was that? What, what which rating is it needed? I mean, you should always be studying at any level. On, honestly, it doesn't really matter um, what what your rating is. Um, but the studying is much different. Like at my level, uh, one second. This guy's trying to make a draw. Let me think for a second. How do I avoid the draw? He wants to make a repetition of moves. Um, what do I do, chat? Yes or no? I assume it's going to be a no, so let, 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 let's let's try to keep the game going. Let's go queen c8. Um, yeah, okay, let's keep going. Um, 
he moves the knight i can drop the bishop back here maybe i can also move the actually this looks like a good move yeah this looks like a very good move i target the pawn and now his bishop is under attack i can remove the bishop and win the bishop here thank you to dube stack for the prime uh so so like studying chess is different so when like thank you to thomas sir for the prime so like if you do puzzles that is studying chess but it's a different kind of studying than the, the chess that i generally do like i'm studying the opening meta the first like 10 15 moves of the game um specifically so it's it's depend it's completely different depending where you are but there you you always should be doing some form of studying okay drops the bishop back um now i can capture both ways i can also try to sack um i think i'm gonna do this one and drop the bishop back i have two bishops long term they should be better than these knights and he also has this ugly ugly pawn formation drop the bishop back i trade the rooks Okay, captured, bring the queen up. Okay, now let's bring my queen here maybe, but then he goes knight here. That's not ideal. I think this looks good. Just guard. If he captures, I go here, win the win the rook with the discovery every every which way. Okay, so it goes g4. So now I'm gonna try to remove this knight first step. Remove the knight from the defense. Okay, it goes knight of five. That's actually a good move. I forgot about that. That was a move. Let me think. It takes GF5. Still should be good for me. I think I can push the pawn up, create weaknesses. I go here and I go here next move. And he has weaknesses. I, I ruin his pawns. And this pawn is, instead of being a weakness, this pawn is actually going to become a huge strength here because it's going to be running down the board. This is going to become a pass pawn, which will become an unstoppable boulder, just bull, bowling, just bulldozing down the board. Okay, moves the queen back. So if I capture, he captures. But again, I think he's got problems. All of his pawns are very bad here. So I feel like I should be much better. Let me just see. Um, maybe just here, attack the pawn. This makes a lot of sense. Okay, goes rook up. Now I'm now I'm gonna go for this and try to checkmate him. Because he's got a lot of weak squares around his king here. So I will move my queen here, I think. Or up one square, I'm not sure. Or down here. Hmm. Not very thrilled with this, actually. Um, let's go here. Misplayed this. So I can capture the pawn, bring the bishop, and push the pawn up the board. I should be doing very, very well here. I guess I'll move the queen over. Yeah, I think I'll move the queen to attack everything here, create the create the threats. If I win this pawn, this pawn is just going down the board, as I pointed out before. So that's the reason I'm doing this. Congratulations on the amazing performance in the Lindoris Abbey tournament. Thank you, Gyodor. Thank you. So far, so good, as I pointed out. Um, okay, let's see. I can capture. It's going to be hard to win this. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm down on the clock. What am I doing? Okay, let's just take this one then. This way, there's no risk of ever losing, at least, because he always has this weak one here. So I, the clock is a slight issue. Not a big deal yet, because I still have 30 seconds, but a slight issue at any rate. If he goes back, I will play... Um, I think I'll just try to remove this queen. It's a real pest here on this, this, this rank. go um rook here hit the pawn bring the queen max pressure on this weakness here yeah i won i won two games and drew two games chat uh i drew games against dubov and um and carlson and i beat um once i go here oh i just blundered capture oh he misses it eesh that was bad um okay i just gotta move just gotta move come on stay focused one second chat i just need to focus okay, let's go here Threatening to capture the pawn. What's that? Okay. Um. Just... Capture and d4. If takes, I take. If knight d5, I take. Wait, is this okay for him? No, I misplayed this. I can't win this game now. Well, he goes up though, which is kind of weird. 
This is gonna be a finish, uh, a, a photo finish. So I just see if I can make a check. Go here, attack the knight. I take the pawn and now I'm gonna win. I'm up one pawn. Here we go. This is it. Let's drop the bishop back. Bring the rook over. Let's go check. Bring the bishop up. Next move. Just take and now I take and I just win. A G a G yo. Push the rook. Push the pawn. Bring the rook. Gobble the pawn. Game over. Whoa, whoops, let's go here. Make a check. So it's block, okay, now I make a check. Make a check, move the rook over. Let's go here, drop, drop the king back, push the pawn up the board. And um, as long as I don't stalemate him, this is uh, a pretty clean win, just check. Okay, we win again. Five out of five. Okay, five out of five. Um, let me see. What is Lyric? Is Lyric still playing? He's still playing. Chat, you want me to watch Lyric? Okay, let's watch Lyric. Um, let me stop the music. Okay. Um, all right. So, okay, let's look at this position. Actually, let me unmute Lyric. Sorry. Okay, so right now, what's he have? He has one less, one less knight. He's got two bishops. In, oh man. Yeah, I, I. Okay, right. I gotta send him a message on Twitter, right? That's what I said I was gonna do. Okay, all right, I dropped him a line. So if, if, he, if he wants some help, I mean, he can, he can respond. Just dropped him a DM on Twitter. Let's see what happened in the meantime. Okay, the guy took the bishop, right? The guy took the bishop. Um, okay, so he's down what? He's down a bishop and a knight now. Okay, so he's got to move the rook here. I guess he's, he's in bad shape. This is a bad position. That's exactly what I just wrote to him. I enjoyed my say. Oh, okay. PVC is live. Funny chat. Funny. Um, okay, let's see. What's going on here? Thank you to I hope last for the prime. Thank you to Epic Twitch Hero for the prime. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So he's down. He's got a again. He, one of the main things that he. What's he going to say? See, this is one, one of the basic things that, that, that like you, you teach at the very beginning is just to bring the pieces out. Um, that's one of the main things. What is this? There's a clip. Wait, is there, is there some clip chat? What, what's it? What's this clip? What's this clip? Okay. What is this clip? <laughs> oh that, that's pretty funny chat that that's pretty funny okay my game started so i, I got to get back to my game okay let's um we're playing at 2850 i'm gonna play d4 this game again i'm sinking time on the clock so i, I should really focus a little bit um let's go here 
So I'm probably develop my knight at some point. Okay, he's gonna play this line. I'm gonna play this bishop g2 castles. We played this opening in Moscow about like five months ago now. Thank you to a Legolas Finn one two three for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, so we're 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 gonna play the same line. Okay, so I will just capture, bring the bishop out, bring the knight out. Let's go here, probably capture. And I think I capture and bring the bishop out. No, actually, no, I'm going to play e3 here. I think this is a move, if I remember correctly. Not sure. Um, so, so yeah, okay, let's see. So now I can capture the pawn. I think I can also move my rook. I'm going to move my rook here. If he brings the knight to the center, I capture and bring the bishop out. Thank you to, thank you to Liam93 for giving us up to Mega Pleb. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's go bishop here, I guess. Or I can capture. Hmm. No, actually, what I should do here is something else. Let's see. I'm gonna move the knight. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move the knight here to try to open up the open up the di diagonals here. So I will capture. I will take and drop the queen back. I think there's pressure on this pawn on d5 though. Oh no! Actually, captures. I move the knight and I capture this way. So it should be quite good. Okay, I will go. Wait, if I go here though, he's here, and then he's here. Let me think for a second. Okay, let's think. If I take, maybe I just take and drop the queen back. Actually, this looks reasonable. Okay, let's go. I think I just drop back here. If he tries this, I drop the knight back and drop the knight to d4. Let's go here if d4 i move the knight up and then i bring the, this knight up this way so i think i'm in good shape maybe he's got knight e4 to attack this pawn perhaps thank you to anonymous the gifter for gifting us up to god thank you so much anonymous thank you for that okay it does go knight g4 so i can bring the knight here he brings the queen and i bring the other knight maybe let me think um Yeah, I think this works. This should work. So I, I hit the knight. So I think I think I'm in good shape this game. I think I probably will uh will will win this game. Because he has a very weak pawn, so like he's got a very passive his bishop here on this this b7 square is very bad. The pawn stops the scope, whereas my bishop has a straight line towards the bishop here. Oh, he does this. What? This can't possibly work. Wait, what am I missing? Rook to e5, rook to e. One second. Let's think about this. Takes queen off six, rook e5, rook e8, knight d5, should be five, rook d5, rook d8, rook c5, takes rook six. He's got the e8, knight d5, takes rook d8, rook d8. I don't well whatever it doesn't work it doesn't work but I don't see anything else okay so I can move the knight and push the pawn even um before where do I come here or do I go here one second I can use I can use a lot of time here because in this position this is basically the ball game um I don't see it I'm just gonna go yeah I think I'm gonna go here I'm gonna capture and capture the pawn next move I capture and take because I can still sack my other rook since I'm since I have one extra knight at the moment I can sack the other rook like I capture and then I drop the knight back now I think I just capture and bring the knight back or do I go this way or this way I think I go this way and I just capture with the queen or no I capture with the bishop plant the bishop and bring the queen down I create the uh I create the what is it like the the pew 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 um thank you to harshu for the 100 bits thank you to it's me bananas for the 100 bits thank you to zook the nuke for the 100 bits thank you to blur cs go for the gift of sub to delordy too um thank you so much okay i don't know what this move does exactly um i don't understand this i just moved the queen he wants this check and it's slightly awkward or no uh no wait here yeah, I just dropped my queen, plant the knight, and I'm just in great shape here. Although I give him this move, which I shouldn't have given him. He takes, I take back. And I should just be winning.
Thank you to Piotr Panson for the two months. Thank you so much to Piotr Panson. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, now I bring the knight up. I think. Or I push the pawn. Um, I can also just capture, honestly. B3. This looks pretty clean, too. Thank you to Brutz. Brut, it's Brut Blah for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's bring the queen up. Okay, that's a free pawn. I will gladly grab it because I hit the pawn here, which he missed. Goes there. I just brought the queen back so he can't come in because I make the check and I win the game. Maybe just knight d4. Attack the queen, drop the knight, and now I reactivate the knight the other way and everything is under attack here. And again, there's increment chat, so time doesn't actually matter that much. I gain one second per move. Thank you, Bantam, for the gift sub to, uh, to Grabeniak. Thank you so much. Okay, bring the knight in. Just knight g4 and check. Thank you to Calcabear for the 100 bits. Thank you so much to Calcabear. He's probably going to resign here because th this knight check is just devastating. Yeah, he just resigns. Okay, we moved to six out of six. Um, I think it's six out of six. Yeah, we moved to six out of six. Four more games to go. Still tied for the lead. As you see, I'm now at the top of the scoreboard. So, um, so yeah. Thank you to 24 times 36 for the prime. Again, chat, a knight and bishop should be better than a rook. A bishop and knight is worth six. A rook is worth five. In most worlds, six is six is worth more than five. But um, anyway, Lyric is watching me. What is Lyric watching? Oh, Lyric's watching me? What is this? <laughs> yes pre-moves pre-moves baby pre-moves for the win <laughs> pretty much Quite simple, really. Exactly, chat. good stuff this is good stuff it's not easy it's not easy chat it's not easy it's not easy all right I think he's done so let me, let me get back um that's that that is pretty funny but you know I saw I think I saw that clip on like reddit or something and somebody they, they made a really funny comment someone's like I didn't know that I think they compared me playing chess to like the Raj show or something where they're like um that what they said is is like I didn't know that chess was scripted like the Raj show I think that's what they said something like that um uh thank you to focus tv for the prime thank you to squishy Hercules for the 100 bits um I think that's what they said so um yeah it, it's a scripted game right yeah totally scripted 
But yeah. Anyway, uh, big shout out to everybody who's watching. We are playing in a tournament right now. We're playing this Title Tuesday tournament. Earlier, I played in this Lindor's Abbey event. Actually, while I have it, I will pop this image up. Um, does it show correctly? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'll just I'll make it an image. One second. Um, one second. La -di -da -di -da. Um, just give me one second. I pop up this image. Um, so this th this is the standings of the tournament I played this morning. Um, so. Let me move this over here right now. This is this. These are the standings. Um, let, me, let me put this over here as well. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but just to cover the board right now. So they're playing this Lindor's Abbey Rapid Tournament. Um, there is a f first prize is forty five thousand um, dollars. Right now, I'm leading leading the event with Magnus Carlson and Sergey Karyakin. We're all in three points. So I think you guys can see it. Okay, um, I'm playing Radzio. This is Radek Wojtasz, a very strong chess player as well. Let's play e5, play knight c6, knight f6 here. It's it's always 45. Yeah, it's always 45, right, chat? Exactly, because 45, as we know, is, uh, according to Google, what I'm worth. Um, okay, so he plays this one, so I will just take and drop the queen out. I think I will play this one. Um, no, actually, I'm going to play this move. Another 45k. Yeah, I mean, first prize is 40... 40 yeah, I'll go here and drop the queen out. Place bishop d3. That's actually not the move that I thought was correct here. Um, hmm. Man, g6 is insane. What am I doing, actually? Let me think. Let's have some fun. Let's play h5. I think this is a bad move, but let's play like alpha 0 and just attack. Alpha Zero, the very famous computer program, likes to throw throw its H pawn up the board. So I'm going to do just that this game. It's probably bad, but it's, it looks interesting. So I am going to um, um, I can also play H4. I think I'm just going to go like maybe just G6 and put my queen here next to me. Maybe F5 is an idea as well. Let's bring the queen up. This might be this might be insane, mind you. So this might be complete. Thank you to Kai for the tier one. Thank you so much. But I, I want to do it for right now. Okay, I will drop my bishop back, and now I can trade the pawns next move. So it's all it's all pretty good here. Thank you to Ugruk for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, this position looks fairly insane. Well, the problem for my opponent. Is he goes this way, but I feel like there maybe I can attack him here with my with Harry the Harry the whatever. Um, also, I'm just gonna castle first though. Um, the problem for me is long term. He might have some issue where he activates his bishop, but for now he can't do that. Getting overconfident? No, I just want to have some fun and play something interesting and different. It's nothing to do with being overconfident. Thank you, McSandro88 for the two months. Thank you. Okay, he goes rook c1, so he wants to push, but I think I can meet it with my rook move. Or I can push... Actually, this is interesting. I push and go here. Hmm. Let's think. Or I can just capture, maybe. If I capture which way... He's capturing this way, so maybe just rook e8. Rook e8, c4, e4, queen c3, f6. Hmm, let's think. I'm, I'm down on the clock, though, so I gotta move. Just move. F5, no. Um, hmm. I'm just going to do this. So he goes here, and then I go here, and I, I try to attack the bishop eventually. Thank you to Foov77 for the 100 bits. Thank you so much to Foov. Uh, thank you so much. So we just keep going. I want to put the bishop. Um, he goes there, which is strange. I, I really want to push this pawn or move this bishop. I think I should move my bishop um, here again, though. Try to angle towards... Okay, now he cuts the diagonal. But he gives me access now up the other way. Because now I, he justifies my pawn structure. Because he no longer can attack with the bishops. So I'll put the knight here. If he moves here, I will capture. Okay, bishop c1, good move. I will move my king up. Now I will go f6 next move to solidify the happy smile, smile formation. And it's all pretty good. I think I will just take first. For, take to make him take back. Now I can play this. I can also just play f6. This looks pretty good. Just a nice smiley formation, of course. Um, 
Oh, he's got queen d2. Maybe rook d8 then, though. Thank you to my English. Um, my English isn't great for the uh, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Um, he moves here. I can also just go here. Ah, then he takes and goes knight d4. Wait, okay. Um, let's think. I think I'm just going to drop this back cash or maybe go here. I don't like what I'm doing, but it's probably good enough. Okay, I can also I can also push the bishop back maybe. Actually, what is wrong? There's nothing actually wrong with this. So I'm gonna do it. If captures, I just okay. Now I go knight f7, solidify my knight, my king. I want to reactivate. He, I guess he can go c4 and it's probably headed towards a draw, but it's still interesting. Or he can play rook a1, I guess as well. If this move, I think I drop the bishop back to cover the square. Okay, I will definitely go here to drop the bishop to e6. Thank you to fake it till you make it for the three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, now I think the problem here is his knight's coming this way as well. So I think I'm going to play h4 here. Maybe play h3. Maybe just go f5, f4. Complicated position. Not really clear. Thank you to Tanzru for the... Uh, for the prime thank you so much okay i'm gonna drop the queen back i guess i'll go here i don't know if it really makes a difference i can put the queen on one of these three squares i don't think it makes any difference so it goes rook a3 okay i'm gonna play h3 though and tickle his tickle his pawns here a little bit um and now i think i'm gonna try to play for a win somehow he wants to go here okay but i have no time so i guess i'll just play um, I'm moving too slowly. Okay, I just got I just got to bail out, and make a draw here. Go C4, surprising. I'm gonna play Knight D6 here to attack. If he pushes the pawn, I just drop back, or I can jump in. I don't think I will. He'll push, and I'll drop the knight back, bring the rook to the center, try to checkmate him because his pawn kind of cramps his king just a little bit here. So let's capture. Okay, let's go back. I will bring the rook to the center part of the board here. Try to attack this knight. Try to create weaknesses. Okay, that's not a problem. I go here. I'm going to drop the queen over. Queen a6. Okay, I guess I just go... Okay, whatever, I just trade. Yeah, I can't win this. I have to make a draw, I guess. <sighs> Unfortunate. Uh, wait, let me offer a draw. Okay, I guess I'll just play f5 here. Capture the take with the bishop. I mean, it's just very dry. Yeah, very dry. Not not very special for either of us. So, game ends in a draw. We are in six and a half out of seven points. I think there's a little bit of a break. Um, uh, so I'm gonna run to the restroom, get a little more a uh, little more coffee, and I will be back in about a minute.
All right. Okay, you guys. Um, so we draw this game. So we're on six and a half points out of seven. There are two people uh, who are on seven out of seven. Thank you to uh, Jace Phenom, uh, as well as Just Do What You Do. Thanks for the resub and the prime. Um, thank you to Gristone for the prime. Thank you to Clyde for the five bucks. Help, I'm hostage in Hikaru's house. Please call for help. Help, help, help. Thank you, Kodan Wee for the tier one. Thank you, Zenate for the prime as well. Thank you so much. And thank you to Daniel Guo for the 100 bits. How do you avoid saying um, stammering, et cetera? Basically sound confident, chill when you speak or explain something to us. Uh... I mean, I just know I'm good at chess. Thank you to Sober44 for the 100 bits. And besides, Lyric, Lyric thinks Lyric, Lyric thinks I'm, I'm living in the future. So um, if Lyric thinks I'm living in the future, then uh, I know that I've made it. Oh, I just said, uh, didn't I? I just said, uh, whoops. Okay, chat. Okay, chat, I get it. All right, so six and a half out of seven. There are three more rounds to go. Uh, definitely in the running still. Thank you to Balzac for the prime. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, just keep going. Right, so chat, uh, apparently, is, uh, okay, so you guys want to know what the tiebreak number is? I think the tiebreak number, so you see, like, my opponent who I just drew the game against, which is Radzio, 1987. You see there's a 27.5, and for me, it's 24.5. So in chess, we sometimes have what are called tiebreakers if people have the same number of points. We both have 6.5. Uh, out of seven um so this means that my opponent's score this 27 and a half is the combined score of all the people that he's played against so all of his the people he's played against they've scored more points than the people that i have played against so in the case of a tiebreaker he gets um he, he will have um the tiebreaker edge over me so that's what it's based on it's the combination of the score of all the of the seven opponents you've played um in, is thus far so my i've played weaker opponents i guess objectively if you look at it way too dank yeah it's very dank i know but anyway um it's all good so so yeah describe xqc again in one word thank you not harsh for the prime um describe xqc in one word um Juicer, juicer, that's the word, that's the word. Juicer, in one word, juicer. A Cheeto, Cheeto, right, exactly, chat. He's a Cheeto. Um, no, he's not. Um, yeah, a Papega, <laughs> right, okay, chat. Anyway, I think the next, okay, next round's gonna be starting in like, in like, um, I think like two minutes. So I'll just keep chilling. If you guys have questions, uh, I'm definitely gonna try to answer them for sure. So, so yeah. Anyway, we just keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Um, three more games to go. So this should be a very, this should be a photo finish um, heading, heading into the final final couple of rounds. Thank you to New Tech Wiz for the tier one. Thank you so much. I don't speak many languages. I speak English. I speak Italian. I speak moderately bad Spanish. And I know some French. That's, that's the extent of my languages. And a spattering of Japanese. So, um, so yeah, so we keep going. We keep going. Um... So, so yeah. Um, how's the weather here? It's, it's crazy hot in Florida right now. It's like, it's really hot. I just don't go out of my house. I, 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 unless I have to go shopping or something, I just literally don't leave my house. It's just, it's, it's nasty outside. Have, have I reacted to me molding at chess tournaments? I mean, I don't really mold that much. Um, thank you to Galandur for the prime. There, there are probably a couple of molding moments from the match against Levon Aronian, actually the 960 chess in um, last like October that I could find. Thank you TPH8 for the prime. Um, but yeah, so a anyway, uh, yeah. Do I think you could become a GM in under two years of playing? No, not a chance. In under two years, no way. Um, do I get recognized outside sometimes? I mean, it's very disturbing, but I think I think it's two or three times now when I've gone to the local Publix and someone in the, someone in the store has recognized I me. Mean, it's just very, very weird um, when that happens. But it, it has happened. But, but, but normally if I get recognized, it tends to be in Germany more than anywhere else. Usually when I'm going through the airports in Germany and Frankfurt and in Frankfurt and München specifically, um, I seem to get recognized a lot by people who work there or people who, um, people who are traveling through. So, so yeah, um, specifically in, in Germany, I seem to get recognized everywhere. I, I don't know why, but I just do. Uh, but yeah, so, but yeah. So anyway, next game should be starting very, very soon. 
Probably the funniest, actually the funniest time I got recognized, not the funniest, but one of the weirdest times I got recognized was I was traveling through um, the airport in, in uh, Brussels. So I was going through Belgium. I forget where I was going to, but I, I was going through the airport in Brussels and I think I was coming from the US because there was uh, there was customs. So at customs, I, 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 I just, you know, I go give the passport, they stamp it, I go by. And then someone from one of the other, like uh, the stall, not stalls, but from one of the other booths, basically he ran out and started running after me. Like, and I was like, I was freaked out. He, I mean, it, it's Europe. So, you know, it's not like the cops or something with their guns, but uh, he sort of ran after me to, to catch up with me. He's like, he starts talking. He's like, Hey, are you, the, are you that chess guy? So, um, so, so yeah, it was, uh, it, it, it was, um, it was good. But yeah. <laughs> um, run, run, run. Yeah. <laughs> run, run, run. Exactly. No, nothing happened. He, he, he just, he just ran. He just started to just catch up with me. He started, he's like, you're the chess guy. And I'm like, yeah, I, I should have run. Yes. Yeah, I run. And then like, and then something bad happens. I won't say anything more though. Cause then, then I'll say something in, politically incorrect. Um, so, so yeah, but it, that was one of the more amusing times that it happened. Um, uh, so, so yeah. Thank you to Sergeant Animal Mother for the 100 bits. Thank you to Raisin for the Prime as well. Thank you to Latte, Latin Kisti for the, uh, for the Prime. 1500 GM in 10 years, definitely. Especially if you're younger, you totally could. Um, so yeah. Best chess player today is, is obviously Magnus Carlsen at the moment. Um, so, uh, in classical chess for sure. In terms of rapid and blitz, I mean, I think I, I, I have spoken on this topic many times. I think that when Magnus and I play against, uh, pl or actually next game, okay, this is round, round eight of 10. Now, since I've given up one draw and I only have six and a half points, I kind of have to try to win every game. Uh, it's kind of annoying to get a second black game in a row, but we'll do our best. So he plays E4. So how do I want to win? Yeah, whatever. Let's just go for it with the, with the modern defense. Okay, I think I will just play this and maybe B5 or D6, depending on what he does. Okay, let's play this one. Bring the knight out, bring the pawn out. Um, okay, let's bring the bishop, bring the knight, bring the pawn. But best player of all time is Gary Kasparov. Yeah, the best player of all time, without a doubt, is Gary Kimovich Kasparov. E4, yeah, I'll mark this as a win right chat, yeah. Yeah, Kasparov is the best. Carlson might pass him if he has the same uh, lo 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 longevity. Um, but I would say for sure right now, it, it's got to be Gary Kasparov. Okay, I'm gonna put the knight in, push the pawn to support the knight on the central square. I appreciate the compliment, chat. I'm not the... Oh, jeez. Did I just blunder? He misses it. He had knight d5, and I think I was maybe losing. Uh, bring the knight and now here I can just castle. He had this really dangerous idea of forking my king and my rook. He missed it. Because castle, bring the rook out, I guess. That was very bad. Very, very bad. Okay, I'm going to put the bishop here, bring the knight into the center of the game. So bring the queen out. I'm going to move my rook here, try to try to attack everything in the center part of the board. Let's go here. Okay, so now I want to play, I want to play this move. Captures, 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 I take. If he takes with the knight, I still take. And whatever, let's have some fun. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Thank you to Cyberprobe for the Prime. Thank you so much to Cyberprobe. Thank you so much. If he captures, I just capture. Thena Impala 10 for the two months. Thank you so much. So far, so good. Where does the term cash flow come from? It comes from PVC himself, the legend, um, the greatest warlord of our time. Uh, that's a, It's a PVC phrase. Okay, so I can capture this pawn. I can push this pawn. Let's think for one second. Okay, I know this is not the best move that he just played. So... Let's think. If I push this pawn, he goes here. Feels like I should have something, but I don't see it right off. Um, <sighs> I'll do it. I don't like it. I'm going to capture and drop my knight in, I guess. And I will capture here. Good. 
Goes a3. I'm going to go rook b8 here and support the pawn. Or maybe I move the queen up and just gambit it. No, I support it. Just support the pawn here. At some point, I can remove this knight as well. It's not really doing anything special, but I want to wait until I, until I decide to remove it. He's also got a weakness here in the center part of the board, this pawn on d5. It's very, very weak. Um, don't really want to take. I do have this move, maybe. I should be winning somehow, but I don't actually see it, which is kind of annoying. So I'll just take and move the queen up, force him to capture. And now I capture and capture. In the long term, this should be very good for me. It feels like it should be, at least. Just capture and capture. Might not be able to win this, so this could be kind of annoying. It goes, oh, he's got rook c1. I didn't see that one. I only saw him going this one. Let's see. Maybe just drop this bishop back, though, and move the king up. Because if I win this pawn, I should be winning the game. So I'm still kind of kind of in the game here. We'll drop this knight back and bring the knight to the center center of the board, maybe. I should have brought the rook back. Actually, that was a mistake. I guess I will go this rook here. Keep an eye on the bishop. Oh, geez, I just blundered rook c8. Oh, my gosh. Or no, I didn't blunder. Okay, goes here. But now I go here. Oh, I blundered rook c7, though. I keep missing things. Okay, I'll pre-move it in case he takes it. He doesn't capture. Yeah, he sees it, though. Okay, so I go... So I go here to attack the bishop, I guess. So if I capture, capture... I should be up one pawn here. Rook e3 takes... I'm going to be up one pawn, but it's going to be very hard to win this game. Maybe I, maybe I can win, though. Just go here and capture. Not winning versus 2,900. Yeah, but I have extra pawns, so maybe I can win the game. We'll see. It's going to be hard to win this, but he's got no time, so maybe I can trick him in this end game. So I capture. I bring the king up. I'm going to just put the rook here. Cut the rook off. Cut the king off. So let's go here. I think I will move my... Oh, wait, no. How do I do this? Not d5. Okay, so somehow I have to guard all my pawns. I think... Um... We'll just go here maybe and bring the king over. It's going to be hard to win this, but he doesn't have a lot of time. Thank you to Calgabear for the gift sub to Bowie Bow. Thank you so much. Um, so I can push the pawn. That doesn't look right. But it's got to be right. Okay, let's push the pawn. So he pushes, and then I try to push this one up the board, basically. Goes there. Okay, but now I think I start to fix the pawns here. I fix this weakness, and I bring my king towards this way. Let's go maybe here. Maybe just king here. Okay, I dropped the rook back. So here, here. So I can push the pawn and push the pawn, right? The F pawn. Make a check. I go here and capture. Or no, I push. Wait. Shoot, he sees it. Hmm. Maybe here and capture. This is very tricky, chat. That's why I have to focus a little bit. Just give me one second. I think I'm winning, actually. I go here and I go here and I win. Maybe I, I no, actually I just push this one. Let's push this one. Oh no, I blundered. Oh, he misses it. Okay, I go here maybe. 
Got no time. Okay, 1.1, so I capture. Go here. Mm, let's go. We win again, chat. We win again. Tough game. Um, we win again. We move to seven and a half points out of eight. Uh, back to back to the top of the leaderboard. Okay, Lex, Lex just laddered up to 15th, but he's 15th out of 15 now. Still very intense. Yeah, so again, I mean, a big shout out to Lex Veldhaus, the poker streamer. I think right now he's like, he is the face of Twitch at the moment, like 50K. He's playing in the Scoop main event, 10K buy-in. Um, good friend of many people in the channel, um, as well as myself. So big shout out to Lex. Hopefully he takes it down. Um, he's playing for a million dollars, I think, right now. So uh, very, very, uh, very intense stuff going on over there as well. Thank you, Galinsky, for the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, analyze the end game? Yeah, I can definitely analyze before we wait for the next game. So I, th some point around here, it was an easy draw. Thank you to um, thank you to Guy, uh, thank you to Gonkin, sorry, for the Tier 2. Thank you so much. Thank you to Galinsky for the Prime. Um, uh, no, Lex Veldhaus is what I'm talking about. So this end game is already very drawish. Um... Now, this end game is a draw here, and the key point in this end game, thank you to Sir Score Pelton for the prime, is that if we trade these two pawns, let's just say we reach this position, this is what is known as a theoretical draw, because it's a three versus two, black is one extra pawn, but with correct play, you can't win, win the game. Um, so, uh, the first key point of this end game is I can't trade these two. So, in order to try to win this, I can win this pawn, but I have to try to give up one of these three pawns instead of this one, basically. So that's the first thing. Um, or actually, sorry, let's go back to the game. So so the important part about this end game is that at this point, again, I decide that I want to I want to bring the king over to try and fix these pawns without losing this pawn specifically. So I go here, and now my opponent gets a little bit too creative bringing the king over. He should have kept the king over this way, because if he keeps the king here, there is no way that I can get um, the right position. Because if I push the pawn here, he moves the rook, threatens to make a queen, and he'll take my rook. And if I capture the pawn, then he goes check, and he wins the rook on b7 here. Oh, well, I guess we're playing round. Um, what do I want to play here? I think I'll stick to d. No, I'll stick to knight f3. Knight f3 is the best first move. Thank you to Puick for the prime. Thank you so much. We are, what, seven and a half out of eight. Big fi big, big finish coming up. Um, okay, let's play e4. Let's go d4. Let's go bishop c4. He's moving really fast, actually. Wait, what's... Wait, why is... Wait, what's going on with the clock? Clock wasn't moving there, was it, Chad, or am I insane? Okay, castle. I don't think the clock was moving there. What, you want El No Sabe? I mean, I can play El No Sabe. Just for you guys, one time. Okay, I'll play it one time. Um, one second. Okay, so I... Oops. Let me move this over. Okay, I will play E5 here. Okay, you want it one time, Chad. Here you guys go. I'll turn the volume down a little bit. Okay. Just play H3. Sound should be good. Let's move the bishop back. Push the pawns out here. It's too loud? No, I think it's good. It's good. I think it's good, chat. I think I'm just going to move my pawn and drop the bishop back. <laughs> I think I play rook d1 here. Remove the queen off the center square, and then I start pushing these pawns. Whoops. I think I go here to remove the knight, and he goes here, then I go here and back. Sabe. I want to bring the knight in and attack this bishop. Hell no, Sabe. No, no, no. I'm also doing very well, Chad. I've got a good position.
So I capture, can move the knight out. I want to put the knight here or maybe here. El no sabe. So he captures, so I can move the knight in maybe. Oh no, then he captures, I capture, he captures, I go here. And what's going on? He moves the queen. I take. Wait, so let me think. Oh, sorry, whoops. Let me stop the song. Oops, let me, let me stop it. Okay, let me think for one second, Chad, because this is, this is very critical. Knight c5, bishop d4. Knight e6, bishop f2, king h1, queen g3 is no good, queen e5, queen a5, knight f8, no, eight, knight f8, I think it's, wor I think it's working, so I'm gonna do it. No, he's got rook f2, oh man, he's got rook f2, what am I thinking? Terrible. Okay, let me think. Um, maybe just queen e3, I guess, I don't like this. Oh, I should have taken the pawn, maybe. Probably should have taken the pawn first, but whatever, it's fine. If it pushes the pawn, I can just drop the rook back, I guess, and like just drop the rook back, capture this pawn. So I should be doing well here. Okay, I think I just... Okay, but now I go here, and the knight gets a really juicy square. I'm threatening all kinds of forks here um, to win, win the game, basically. Whoa, holy. I was not expecting that move, actually. I think I'll just play my rook over, attack this pawn. I can capture, bring the knight back. This looks very bad by my opponent. I don't believe in this at all. So if I capture, he captures, and I go here, here. Wait, okay, let's just capture. Takes knight d2 and knight f3, I think. Okay, here, hit the rook, drop the knight back. I've got this check coming as well. I think he's losing here. Because there are no good squares. Here I make the check and I win the rook. If he goes here, I tempo him. I hit the rook and I hit the pawn. I also have this check to win everything. He goes this square, I do the same thing. Ah, he's got this one though. I didn't see this. Okay. I guess I just go here anyway though. A lot of threats. This knight g5 threat to win win everything is really dangerous. I also just take... I think I just make a... Mm, found a very good move. That's a, that's an extremely... That's a, that's a quality move by my opponent. Um... I missed that. That's actually a very good move. I don't really want to play an end game, but I might have to. Hmm. <sighs> That's a very good move. I didn't see it. So let's go. Hmm. Yeah, I just have to play an end game. I didn't want to do this. Let's play this. It goes there. Let me just bring the knight in. I should have had this game won. I misplayed this. Let's go g3. Remove the rook. I can drop the rook back. Bring the rook back. I don't want to trade rooks here. I bring the knight in, I guess. Okay, let's go knight here, maybe. Again, the pawn prevents the knight from ever having squares. That's why I put it here. Go here, maybe make a check. Drop the knight back. Doesn't really affect me. I push the pawn. Okay, maybe just knight a5, attack the pawn. Gonna bring the knight in. Okay, here, and I win the game. He gets forked if he goes to either of these two squares. He comes up, I grab the pawn. And I'm gonna win this game. Let's check, and I capture. Bring the rook back. This technically is winning. Um, whether I win or not is still not clear, but this should be winning. Takes, so I go... Oh, he's got... No, he's got rook h8, whoops. Okay, I will just bring my king up. Bring the rook up. Push the pawn, bring the king, and now it's just winning. Take the pawn. 
Win again, chat. We win again. Move, moving up on the ranks. Eight and a half out of nine. So uh, what what are the standings? Eight and a half out of nine. I'm gonna be playing big fish for all for all the all the stones in the next game. I'm probably gonna get the black piece, so it's gonna be tricky. But we're we're just chilling. We got one more to go. Um, so so one more game to go. on a mystery so yeah we're on eight and a half out of nine i'm gonna play big fish Farouj is on eight out of nine nihal saran also a bunch of people on eight out of nine so i'm playing i'm gonna be playing big fish for all the marbles if i if, if i win i'm gonna take home the first prize if i don't win i won't take it take home first prize but um big game coming up So we just keep rolling chat once again big shout out to everybody i uh, hope you're having a great um tuesday afternoon i think it's tuesday great yeah of course it's title tuesday i'm an idiot so hope you're all having a great tuesday afternoon hope you're enjoying the join the stream enjoying all the chess um go for the draw and you win no but if i draw the game i tie for first first place um well i mean we'll see we'll see okay it depends what he does in this first game i mean he can probably try to force a draw too so we'll see down a dream oh he might just force a draw here I think he's gonna he's gonna force a draw I think he's just gonna, or no he's gonna play okay he's, he's just gonna force a draw I think yeah I, I think he just wants a draw okay yeah he just wants a draw I mean he would just wants a draw no I mean he just wants a draw he just wants to draw I mean he just wants to draw I can show you the next five moves the way the game goes is I'll tell you how the game goes the game goes c3 bishop d6 or not c3 sorry the game goes bishop f4 bishop d6 we trade the knights he goes bishop d3 bishop f5 we trade the bishops he goes queen d3 I go knight d6 he goes c3 we go queen d2 knight d7 rookie eight trade whoops not rookie seven trade trade rookie one and we reach a very symmetrical position same queen same knights and blah 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 and whatever um I mean that's literally what would have happened it would have been just same material same pawn structure absolute nonsense waste waste of time um so yeah I mean it's it's whatever he just wants to draw um oh yeah chat so I think I will keep streaming I think we're gonna take a look now at my games from Magnus Carlson Invitational my four games um so let me just let me get the PGNs of the games very quickly and then we will uh um let, let me just get the pgns and i will um and then we'll go so let me go to um just one second i think you guys can see this it should look okay right okay so um let me just get the pgns one second uh let me see if i have them whoops ah that's not what i wanted sorry one second um so we'll, we'll take a look at my games i will go over all four games um i think one of them especially is not really relevant but um let me see where where is it uh okay there we go okay so one second let me get the games so okay here we go one second game one let me get the pg on Nakamura versus carjackin one second sorry chat just give me one second since I, I didn't actually since i had to come right away i didn't have um i didn't have time to uh go go through everything and get get all my all my layouts so just just bear with me um okay okay one second okay just give me one second Let's see okay 
Give me 30 seconds. Round two, round two. And game four, Magnus versus me. Okay, all right. Okay. All right, chat, there we go. So, okay, all right, you guys. So we have all the games. So um, now that I've got all the games up, we are gonna look at my games. What happened with the tournament? Um, title Tuesday, I tied for first prize. I'll check back on it later. Thank you to Laffin's Titan for the for the sub with, for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, all right, okay. So okay, you guys, here we go. So we're gonna take a look at all the games that I played uh, today in the Lindoris event. So we'll start with the first one I played against Sergey Karyakin. Um, so I opened this game with the English, an opening that I had not played that much, um, especially not in the Magnus Carlsen invite. So. Uh, I'll just get to the meat of meat, which is, this is the first original position um, where I play this pawn to e4. It's been played before, but I have very fond memories of this opening because I played this position against Samuel Sebian, a very talented junior um, in America um, in the U.S. Championship last year. And I think prior to this, um, prior to this, this this ma match in the u.s championship i think i had five draws or four draws to start the tournament so when i won this game against uh, samuel seven last year it started the, the train started rolling i won that game and i started winning games after that and eventually i did go on to win the united states chess championship last year um and that was my fifth time winning but the, this opening that i played against seven uh it really got the train rolling so uh, i have very fond memories thank you to wally whale for the prime so bishop b4 d3 again black threatens to remove the knight and capture the pawn so he goes d6, I play a3, bishop c5, b4, knight a4. Again, this bishop is really targeting this weakness near my king. Um, so I want to remove it. And another thing I will say, Chad, is a lot of the themes that I'm that I'm explaining right here, I have explained um, in previous uh, previous collabs with other streamers. But even the lesson that I gave to Yasuo, the lesson that I gave to Yasuo specifically, when I get to the game that I played against Ali Reza, you'll see uh, the exact thing I mentioned him come into play there. So... Um, all right, so knight a4, black plays bishop to g4, I take, I go bishop b2. Um, so, so the point that I'm making when I say that, Chad, is that a lot of these concepts that are, seem advanced, they occur even in games at the top level um, uh, in a way that you think they shouldn't happen. So, so knight d7 is played here. I go bishop e2. Again, I have two bishops. Um, and, and bishops, generally speaking, thank you, Nandoro Karasi, for the, for the sub of the prime. Two bishops are generally better than a bishop and a knight, but in this sort of position, it's very closed. My bishop only is scoped to the central point, but what I'm playing for is long-term stuff in the center here where I can eventually blast it open and use the bishop. Uh, the bishop is the wooden sword. Not not quite, not quite. Um, so, Sergei played h5, I castle. Queen f6, I go knight e1. Again, now I decide in this position, I can't really force the center open to activate my bishop. Um, because black has a bunch of pieces. He's got one, he's got two, he's got three, and he can even remove my knight. So I really don't have enough ammunition to, to open up the central part of the board. So I decide I can't open it up here. So what do I do? I still want to activate the sniper. So the way to do that is now I move the knight back and I decide I'm going to push the pawn this way and attack his central pawn formation with this pawn and this rook. So now he takes a uh, lurker above says, just get more ammunition. <laughs> right, exactly. Just get more ammunition, right? Thanks. Okay, so I play queen e2. Um, now, now my opponent decides, you know what? He can't really prevent me from trying to tag in the center. So he decides I'll get rid of the sniper. You no longer have threats against my queen, my pawn and my rook. So I take, now I play f4, just reload, just reload chat, right? So I go f4. Um, again, I decide he's got these, he's got two sets of double pawns here. Um, so I should be better. I've got pawns in the center. They really restrict his knight. I play towards everything where the knight can go. So now he goes c5. I play knight f3. 
Uh, and now he takes the pawn. A move that I didn't actually think was very good at the time. I thought that he should have probably just castled his king maybe here and accepted a slightly worse position. Um, obviously, I've got really nice pawns. He's got really ugly pawns. I also potentially can attack this weak pawn over here on the edge. Um, so Egyptian pyramid, no, the Egyptian pyramid would be like this, wouldn't it, chat? If I have some kind of everything going up like that. Um, so I thought this was a better try. Sergey decided to take the take the pawn. Now I took, whoops, took the pawn. Now I took the pawn. He moves the queen. Now I go here, and this is a really really nice position for me. You see, he's got these ugly pawns that are completely dead again on b7 and b6. Which, if you guys, um, if you guys tuned in to my commentary when I played Jan Nepomniachtchi, the very strong Russian player, the reason that Jan lost his game against me was he also got these very ugly pawns these double B pawns, which were very loose, and it cost him the game. And this game is no different. So here, he casts like a rookie one. You'll notice in this position, he's got very bad pawns here. Um, this pawn is bad. These double pawns are bad. My knight is targeting this weakness. So all kinds of targets here. Uh, so what'd you say? Did I win the event? Let's see. Let, let's go back here for one second. Did I win the event? Oh, there's still games going, so we'll, we'll get back there in a second. So, rookie won. The idea is here, um, if I want to play rook here to attack the queen of the pawn, I lose the game because my rook hangs. So, I go rookie one first. Now, I still want to attack the queen and attack his pawn. So, now he goes g6, supports the pawn, covers the square. So, I go queen f2. I want to push the pawn. Maybe keep an eye on his king. He moves the king. Now, I go rook up, activating another piece. Try to use the triple... Uh, the triple the triple what is this called the triple the triple gun or something um i'm trying to think of a pvc term but i can't but no this is this is called the gun actually it's called the alakine's gun alakine was a world champion um and he used he used the gun here where you line up two rooks and the queen just to massacre your opponent on the file um so this is just create this is just creating the alakine's alakine's gun um so here he goes here. I didn't play this move right away. I went here to here because I wanted to put the rook here, but I wanted to keep this idea where maybe I can attack his center portion of the board. He goes here. I went pawn up because now if he captures, I take the pawn, I hit the king, and now I win, win this pawn, and then I win this juicer on f7 as well. So here he goes king over, trying to sidestep any ideas with a check. King is on a light square. So now I go rook f3. I won. Did I win? Let's see. Oh, we have the tournament is over, chat. So there you guys go. There are the final standings of the event. Um, and I win the tournament with nine points out of ten. I get the first place gold medal. Um, and I, I win win the title Tuesday with nine points out of ten. So uh pretty good. Um definitely can't complain at all. So uh yeah, yeah, exactly. Easy clap, totally. Um uh, pretty good result, nine points out of ten, two draws, um, and I win two title Tuesdays in a row. So very, very good, very, very good for me. Um Definitely can't complain. Thank you to Snafu for the two months. Thank you to call me Nader for the tier one. Uh, why did I draw the game? Because chat, as 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 Lyric said, I'm living in the future. So um, I obviously knew that if I drew the game, I would get first place. So um, anyway, yes, yeah, so we win the tournament. So uh, let's let's keep looking at the analysis in the meantime. Uh, prize money, yeah, first prize is 500 stones. I think the prize money gets chopped up, but uh, it's still still good. So. In this position, my opponent, Sergei, plays king back, tries to guard the pawn. I go knight here, attack the rook. He moves the rook back. If he takes the pawn, I move the knight forward, attack his queen, discover the rook, and he's losing a bunch of material. Whoa, thank you to I am Rosen for the raid with 473. Thank you so much to I am Rosen. So he goes rook a8. I play knight to d5. I attack his queen. Queen h4. I go rook f4, attack the queen, guard the pawn. Um, queen goes back. Now I go queen over, line up the gun. Here comes the gun for that's coming right towards black's king. He goes f6. Again, trying to do something to salvage it. Now I go queen here. Attack the attack these weak uh these weak juicers around his king. And hopefully I can gobble one of them at some point. Thank you to Toggy for the hundred bits. Thank you to Annex for the prime. Goes here. I go e5, just smashing the center completely. I want to capture. If he takes with the f pawn, I go rook check. If he uh trades the rooks. Um, his king is just very open. He's going to lose material. So he decides to um, take with the d-pawn. I take with this pawn, and now he takes with the knight. If he were to try to take with the pawn, it's the same thing. I move the rook up, jam the rook in, take the pawn. His king is so wide open. He's got a rook that's just out to lunge here on the wrong side of the board. Um, a queen also that really is doing nothing. Thank you to Bortnik for the raid with two or the host with 218. Thank you so much. Thank you to Naochi for the tier one as well. Thank you so much to I am Rosen as well as Bortnik Chess 
for the host thank you so much you guys are amazing hope you guys enjoyed title tuesday i don't i didn't see bordnik near the top so it might have been a rough tuesday for him um but nonetheless thank you so much for the host appreciate it so at this point he can't take so if black tries to keep the file closed he tries to stop the battering ram from crashing through this unfortunately loses the game because now i push the pawn i attack the knight when the knight moves i just push the pawn and his queen and his rook get forked my knight supports the pawn and he loses something he loses a, a serious juicer here and he loses the game so for that reason he decides to take the knight i go rook f6 goes rook e8 now i go rook f7 and here um here sergey resigned again same concept if he takes i take king goes back I take the pawn king moves over and I just make the checkmate with the rook and the queen if he goes king to h8 here I actually swing the queen sideways make the check on the king king goes over and it's exact same thing checkmate with the queen and the rook and if he goes king to h6 no Chad I wasn't I wasn't roasting Bortnick at all I just mean like there are plenty of Tuesdays when I've had rough Tuesdays as well I just felt like I didn't see his name near the top of the standing so it probably was just a tough day um, I'm not I'm not roasting him at all so please don't suggest that um so if he goes up I make the check and then he blocks the pawn and now I go just queen f5 I again create a checkmate here and it's just gg pretty much so in lieu of that at this point after I played rook f7 Sergey resigned the game so I won the first game moved to one out of one and um and uh and I start off with a win in the in the Lindoris Abbey event so let's move on to game two this game honestly was not a very exciting game so let's just skip this one it wasn't exciting it was just a very boring game let's go to the game that everyone wants to see which is the third game against Ali Reza Farouja thank you to Arabura for the for the prime thank you so much um I mean it was a, it was a boring game chat it was a very dry game it was like 20 moves make a draw and just move on so we'll look at the game everyone wants to see against Ali Reza so I played d4 knight f6 knight f3 fortunately I had an opportunity before this round to look at the previous games and I saw that in round one Ali Reza had a very tough game which he lost to Levon Aronian with the same opening so I play e3 e6 b3 goes bishop e7 bishop b2 thank you to Toggy for the 14 months Eric Rosen for president um he's a little bit young to run for president but Eric is a great guy make sure to check out his channel if you have the chance um really he's got a really soothing voice very good instructor keeps it very very uh very chill so big shout out to Eric Rosen so I go Bishop d3 he goes b6 now I castle Bishop b7 knight d2 uh Ali Reza plays c5 a3 um I did have this position by the way chat during the game I was vaguely recalling that I had this position against Boris Gelfon in a tournament in London in 2013 so I was very vaguely running through the the machinations the meta and what happened in that game while I was playing this one so he goes Knight c6 so I take he takes I go c4 um idea to put the queen here again use the snipers on the diagonals the bishops are really powerful here when you get them angling towards the black king here so he went a5 now I want takes and queen c2 and I had this position against er, against not Eric Rosen sorry I had this position against Boris Gelfand in the London chess classic rapid event in 2013 so I knew the position was very good um the snipers are really dangerous here I'm threatening to trade and then win this one because the knight defends his pawn so it's really bad also the problem is the bishop guards the pawn so if I capture I can also potentially win the pawn this whole structure is very very ugly uh thank you to fine age yeti for the three months thank you so much so already I think at this point it's quite dangerous Ali Reza plays a4 here which is a very bad move um completely missing that after I go rook d1 the, the whole point behind this a4 move is he wants to make these pawns very strong instead of keeping them weak but after a4 rook d1 um it's very the problem is that after takes he doesn't have the forking move with pawn c4 because I take the pawn and if he captures the bishop I win his queen at the end of the board so for that reason the position is already very very bad here um probably what Ali Reza should have done is he should have just played c4 anyway and taken the pawn and admitted you know what I have a worse position but it is what it is unfortunately he goes queen b6 and now the thing just falls apart because I take the knight if he takes with the bishop here he just loses the pawn um, I guess Bishop H7, Bishop H7, Knight C5, everything is winning, everything is loose. So Ali Reza decides here to take with the pawn. Um, and those of you who were here probably, I guess it was already a week ago, I gave a, a lesson to um to Yasuo, Mo, of course, being being his name. Um so I gave a lesson to Yasuo, and I told Yasuo one of the main things I said is you don't want to get double pawns like this on on these two squares right around your king because your opponent can try to plop a knight in front of the pawns and checkmate you um very easily 
So um, unfortunately, I mean, and this is a, this is a this is a roast, but it's a it's a fun roast. Unfortunately, Ali Reza, I guess, was not tuning into the channel when I was giving the lesson to Yasuo, and therefore he forgot this basic uh, basic theme. So here um, he takes with the pawn. Now I take the pawn. He moves the king, and now I went knight to h4 um, with the idea of trying to bring my queen over and also stick a knight on the square. Exactly what I told Yasuo in the lesson. Um, and he plays knight to e5, trying to bring a piece close. You'll notice that everything here is really far away from his king. So he goes here. I drop the knight in to attack his bishop. So even if he captures my bishop, I can just take his bishop and I create a check. And I'm going to win the pawn. So he goes rook a3, completely overlooking this move that I play here, which is queen to e2. And now the knight and the bishop and the queen with these three pieces. He's got all these pieces on the queen side that are just doing absolutely nothing. And as I've said many times... In the game of chess, you have to protect your king. You can have, you could have an extra queen, an extra rook, a bunch of extra pieces, all the way on these on these two lanes on the far outside part of the board. But unfortunately, if your king gets checkmated, it doesn't matter how much extra stuff you have on the other side of the board. So here he plays rook a4, and now after queen h5, he resigns. Again, he could have also taken the bishop here, but now I go queen h5 check, king g8. Thank you to Sangre de Vangola for the prime, but I go queen h6. And again, I just pincer him on g7 with the queen and the knight, and the king is just stuck, and you get checkmated no matter what you do with the next move. So for that reason, he goes rook a4, and now I play queen h5, and at this point, he resigns um, because any move he plays, if he takes the knight, I just go bishop check. Um, I hit the king, and when he moves the king, I just go queen h7, which is checkmate. King cannot move, and the bishop guards the queen. No squares because the rook and the pawn prevent the king from running. So for that reason, Ali Reza resigned here, and um, and with it, after Queen H5, I won this game. Moved to a very, very nice two, po two and a half points out of three. Two wins, one draw, um, and definitely nothing to complain about. But of course, this meant that in the round four of the day, the final round, I had to play against the one and only Magnus Carlsen. So let's take a look at that game as well. So D4, Knight F6, C4. Actually, let's flip the board because I was black. I played the same. Queen's Gambit declined opening. Um, what happened to TTS? I think it's just it's it's off right now. Um, so we played the Queen's Gambit declined. Uh, Magnus plays Bishop F4. He plays Queen C2. Now here there are a couple different ways to play. One move is to play Bishop D6. Another way is to play G6. So I decided in this game I want to play something a little bit sharper. Um, so I played G6, whereas probably Bishop D6 would have been a more prudent decision. Thank you to a majestic pig for the prime. Thank you so much. So I played G6, E3, Bishop F5. Bishop d3, we trade bishops. Again, I create a slight weakness around my king, potentially. But it's very solid because the central part of the board is very closed. So I play knight d7, h4, knight b6. Again, ideas is that Magnus castles the king. Um, I can put the knight on c4. And one, this is actually why chess is, is so hard. This is a pattern thing that I'm going to talk about very briefly. Um, which is, I played a game against Magnus in Romania in 2011. I believe it was June 2011. It was called the Bosnia Kings Tournament in Romania. Um, it was also a, a Queen's Gambit declined. But I remember, because at the time I was working with Gary Kasparov, one thing that he said was that um, that in the game, which was it wasn't quite the same, but I had a knight on b6, was that if I got the knight to c4 and Magnus's king was on c1, he would be feeling very uncomfortable. So I, in, in the back of my mind during this game, that was sort of playing, you know, Gary, Gary saying that. If I could do an accent, I would, but I can't do an accent. Um, thank you to Rumbo Tembo for the two months. Um, but I remember Gary saying that, you know, he felt Magnus would feel very uncomfortable if I had a knight near his king. Um, so for that reason, I, I decided to opt for this knight b6. And sure enough, Magnus did not castle here, which I think actually was probably the best move. Um, I, I don't know. Is it the best move? Yes, chat. See, Gary Kasparov knows his chess, I must admit. Because um, computer says castle is the best move. And um, and so uh, so sure enough, Gary, Gary, that's why Gary's the greatest player of all time, because he clearly can assess what people think about positions. Because I, I remember that game. Um, I lost the game. But the point was that, that Gary said, if you get this knight to c4 near his king, it, he'd be feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so for that reason... Um, Magnus played knight e5, sure enough. And uh, at this point, I played queen c8. Again, at this point, you realize you can't castle your king here because white's already trying to attack you. He's got a knight, he's got a pawn, he's got a rook. They're barreling down on this side of the board towards your uh, king. So I decided, you know what? I want to try to get my king the other way. So I go queen c8, try to develop the queen, guard this pawn, and then move the king out of the center. Castles. 
Queen to e6, the five minute story about the move that wasn't made. Exactly, chat, totally. So, um, I, I mean, this is what happens when you play chess. You tend to vaguely recall things from games that had similar pawn, you had similar pawn placement, similar piece placement, or the same opening. You just remember these sorts of things in your head. So for that reason, um, I just vaguely remember the game. So here, Magnus goes king v1. Now I played knight e4. And at this point, I was very happy with my, my position. I thought I'm already doing very well. If Magnus takes, I take the knight. He captures one pawn. But I push the pawn forward, attack the knight, and I attack the queen. Thank you to Shadow Scipio for the tier one. Thank you so much. Thank you to God King Dizzle for the prime as well. Thank you so much. So he goes queen c2. Again, doesn't want to trade the knights. Guard, needs to guard the pawn so he doesn't get his rooks forked. And now here I made the critical blunder in the game. I played bishop b4. And the, the reason I played this move was based on a concept which I completely underestimated. Um, what I should have played here was I should have gone knight takes knight, queen takes knight, and I think h5. Yeah, I should have played this, and I'm, I'm maybe marginally worse, but I should not be in a lot of trouble in this position. So I missed this critical opportunity to, to balance the game out. Um, I played bishop b4. He went knight takes knight. And now Magnus found a really nice move. He played h5. And the whole point is that when I played this bishop b4 move, my concept was that he can't do this because I go g5. But unfortunately, Magnus, being um, being the fantastic chess player, I mean the great chess player that he is, um, he found a really nice concept here with takes, and he plays rook h4. And this is a really nice move because my king is still stuck in the center, and I have to try to castle it to one side of the board. Um, but it's it's very dangerous. And yes, Chad, I should have played knight takes c3, but I, I didn't see this rook h4 move that Magnus had, and it's a brilliant move by Magnus. Um, obviously, once once I, this occurred on the board, I, I mean, I saw it when I played g5, but I already had no choice. So I take, he takes, now I castled, he went knight g6. Um, oh! Am I actually better here, or is the computer not that strong, chat? I'm actually a little bit concerned because I'm looking at the position and the computer is saying that I'm fine here. Um, oh, I might be, I might have misplayed this. I, I assumed I was worse the whole game. Maybe I had a chance here to bail out. Oh, I, I'm just, I suck at chess. So I had two moves here that were fine. I could have played queen c4 or queen f5. Instead, I played queen f7. And now after takes, Magnus found rook e5. Another fantastic move by Magnus. I completely missed this idea with g4 and rook f5. Um, I guess I could have gone king h8. It's still unclear. But yeah, I mean, it's just a hard position to play. And I just, I thought h6 was fine. But then I realized as soon as Magnus played g4, that I'm actually in a world of trouble because he can try to exchange the rooks. And I, I'm, I'm really suffering here. So I played bishop d6, rook f5, queen e6, Magnus went e4, I went rook e8, try to keep rooks on the board so that I have more pieces to attack with. Because if I end up with a bishop and knight against a rook, he's got a lot of central pawns. And they're very, very protected and very strong, coordinated. They're very uh, well coordinated, I should say. So he goes to f3. Again, no weaknesses in the position. Pawns are very good. They guard each other extremely well here um, towards the center. He can also make a, he can make a, uh, he can make the, uh, the flying v if he can push the pawn to d5 so i go bishop f4 try to plant the bishop on a safe square where it's guard and try to stick the knight and plop it in somehow get behind the enemy forces with the trojan horse and win the game so now he goes rook d3 very good move again um i went knight c4 trying to trying to trying to sneak the trojan in here um but magnus goes queen c3 and at this point i'm in a world of hurt so i can't get the knight in um, and now he's just going to slowly kick the knight back. And once I get passive, I'm in really bad shape here. So I went knight d6. He goes d5. Oh, no, chat. Wait, chat just chat's telling me Lex busted. Thank you, Nick Fournier, for the prime. Oh, Lex just busted. Thank you to ISIPZ for the two months. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, that's very sad. W what place did Lex bust in, chat? Thank you, Coffee Attack, for the tier one. Um... Oh, he got 15th? Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Okay, I mean, he... Okay, but, but Lex bust 15th in the 10,000 scoop main event, but he still makes uh, $62,000, so he makes fifty two grand after the prize fund. Although, I think he got... A, I think he got... A, I, I don't think he had to pay for the entry either, so... I uh, think you, Terry, 54 for the four months. Um, oh, that's very sad, chat. That's really, really sad that Lex... Um, that Lex bust in 15th. Um, oh, that's really sad, but... 
Nonetheless, he makes 62 grand. So big shout out to Lex Veldhaus, uh, uh, the face of poker on Twitch. Um, make sure to give him a follow if you if you don't already. I know there's a big uh, mix between between uh, chess and poker, so I'm sure most people are already familiar with the channel. But big shout out to uh, Lex. Tough luck, but he's still you know. If 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 you may, if it's still profitable, then it's always it's always a win. Thank you to Darkfire nine by nine for the prime. Okay, so I go queen e seven here. Try to attack the rook. He moves the rook up. I go here, king h seven. He goes queen c two. And at this point, I played a bad move. I played c five because I'm bad at chess. Or maybe not. No, actually, computer changed. It said rook c was fine, and now it doesn't. So, played c five, rook e six, and now I want queen to c seven here. Um, basically, the reason my position is okay is white has the flying V, but white is the flying V, flying V, but all my pieces are on the dark squares, so he can't really use the flying V and push his pawns forward here. So, um, so for that reason, queen c7, I think, was actually wrong. I think I should have gone queen d7, but anyway, I went queen c7, he takes and he pushes a pawn, basically gambiting a pawn, trying to activate on this diagonal. So if I take with the bishop, he goes e5. Thank you to I am Sweet Lou for the tier one. Thank you to GTX Gaming 23 for the two months. Um, and now the problem is I get massacred on a diagonal. I take, he makes a double check, and with it, I lose the game. Again, more right triangle action. Um, so therefore, I have to take with the knight. I have to keep this, this diagonal completely shut down. Rook d5, knight f7, he takes with the rook. Queen b6, a4. Thank you, Grapper b for the prime. I went a6 here. Now he goes a5, and I play queen to e6. Again, position should be fine for me here, but I misplayed this quite a bit. I was very low on time already, so I wasn't sure um, how to play it. So he goes rook d5. I want king to g7. Trying to keep everything very secure here on the king side and eventually try to exchange stuff on the queen side. I have a feeling this was wrong. No, this was... Yeah, I had a feeling I should have played b6 just to remove the dangers on the queen side because the whole king side is shut down. My bishop, my knight, and the two pawns completely stop the stop the broken V here. The, the broken V is not going forward. So really what I need to do is try to get rid of all the pawns on this queen side uh, of the board. So this was a mistake. So he goes queen c5. And now the problem is I can't, I can't break up this, these pawns here because the queen prevents it. So I went queen f6. Wait, king f6? Is, no, queen f6 is fine. Uh, rook to d7. And now I take goes takes I went here aha and already it's losing so what did I do wrong chat let's see um aha so in this position I was supposed to play I was supposed to play king to f6 okay that's just okay I mean I'm sorry that's just way too dank that's just way too dank Think of a deep state operative for the prime. I mean, that's that's just so dank. That's just that's ridiculous. I I, I mean, I literally have no words for how, how stupid that is. Computers are so stupid. That is like literally the worst thing I've ever seen. King F6. Oh my gosh. Thank you to um thank you to Wombo Combo Tombo for the prime. Thank you to Joey Shamara for the prime. I mean, this is ridiculous. King F6 is so ridiculous. I'm not even sure that a, I'm not even sure that with time a human would play King F6. That is just so dank. I mean, even even for me as a pro chess player, that is that is just so dank. Okay, so I went queen f6. Now he goes rook d7, activates the rook. I take the pawn, takes the pawn. I bring the bishop back again. The broken v is still still exists, but it can't really go forward. And I try to win this pawn. So king c2. I go bishop e1, and this is where I think Magnus made the mistake because he played. Yeah, he missed rook b8, which is actually winning the game because now he can create the checkmates. So let's just say I make a random move like bishop g3 attacking the rook. He goes check. Rook guards the queen. I have to go over, and then he goes queen g8 and his checkmate. Um, so, so yeah, so Magnus misses it. Rook b8 is, is winning because I have to go, like, I have to stop the check. And, I mean, if I take the pawn here, I think, again, he just goes check, king f6, and now he goes check. Hits the king. King comes up. He makes a check. I can't run this way because I lose the knight then because the queen is guarding it. And when I go king to d4, um, he plays queen to d7 check. If I go up, he makes a check with the rook, and then I lose the queen. If I go back this way, he makes a check. Makes a check. I go up, and then he wins the knight. 
or actually even rook f6 is winning but everything collapses and if i go to c5 he makes the checkmate because the rook is guarded and the queen is guarded and the king can't go anywhere so um just completely winning so therefore rook b8 would have been winning fortunately magnus plays queen to d5 which is not the best move because now i take the pawn and now the game just spirals back out of control here uh magnus makes a check and now we just we, we repeated moves i could tell at this point magnus he was already down to like 20 seconds here after queen f3 so he, he just decided to make the prudent decision maybe white can play on with queen d4 but again you you run the risk in these end games where um where you could actually lose the game now because the pawns aren't secure and if you lose this one on the edge like on a5 and then you lose this one on g4 you're actually in danger of losing um oh so Hitler did suggest the dank move okay well okay evidently Peter's just he's just a great chess player what can I say um and also yes Chad it's also you know it's much easier when you can be um when you can be um when you can be uh, uh what's the word Monday morning Andy or you know um uh you know what, what's the word I can't think of the word uh but but anyway like it's just one of those things where whoa thank you to Mert Fallon for the gift of sub to Anna Kramlin thank you so much yeah backseat Andy backseat Andy exactly when you can be backseat Andy um when, when you can be backseat Andy it's always much easier I'm not gonna lie um so uh so so yeah so I mean backseat Andy can find King, backseat Andy can find King f6 but very hard to find an actual game so as I was pointing out Magnus made the draw here he just repeated the move so we drew the game which meant that I finished the uh finished the day on three out of four I guess we'll pop that up one more time um let's see it's right here right uh wait no it's not on the scene wait it's on this scene Oh no, I just deleted it. One second. Let me uh, pop up the standings. So, um, so here are the standings after day one um, of the Lindoris Abbey Challenge. So at the moment, let me make this really big so you guys can see it. So at the moment, as you guys can see, I am currently tied for the lead with three points out of. Um, or, whoops, what was that? With, with, with three points out of um, with three points out of four. So at the moment, I am tied for the lead with Magnus Carlsen and Sergey Karyak. I think to cure 236 for the two months. Thank you so much. Um, uh, oh, and Wesley. So Wesley's also on three points. So it's a four-way tie. We're all on three points. Um, remember, the top eight players qualify into um, into the knockout events. So, so far, I'm looking pretty good. Um, one and a half points above the cutoff. Yu Yang Yi is on one and a half points. So uh, plus one and a half right now. So it's uh, very, very good. Um, definitely can't complain uh so so yeah so all is good three points out of four and tomorrow we go back at it again there are four more games tomorrow i don't know exactly who i play but there will be four more games <laughs>